We the kids that represent the actual culture, who made the culture, and carrying the culture. You know, I can't stand people that are like stingy with what they know. She kept the converse on. Yeah, the base. Oh, she kept the converse on. Oh, yeah. They were tight. They were tight, tight. She yeah, must have been tight, watching Sandlot. Tight. Tight. I wanted her to keep them on. I wanted her to keep them on. I feel like it all started that way. It's the Iron Man. Up close, it's the Aria. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. And this is Drink Chance, motherfucking Yappy Hour. Make some noise! And when we started this show, we wanted to give uh, love to pioneers. We wanted to give love to legends. We wanted to give people that's been in this game 10 years or more and that has, has proved their point and has stood there through the test of time. And when we talk about the brother that's here right now, he's one of my favorite battle rappers. I had enjoyed two days in a row just researching him, researching his battlefield. And not only that, not only are we sitting here, because he's an artist, he's a, he's, he's a battle rapper, but not only that, he is controlling the podcast Fellow arena podcaster, yeah, right yeah. now. When you talk about battle rap, we shouted him out first, and then Eminem had to come and shout him out after that. You know what I mean? But let's just, let's, let's just be clear. We was the first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but let me be clear. He's my friend. I've been speaking to him for years, been hanging out for years, but I'm not, I didn't shout him out because he's my friend. I didn't shout him out because he was a real nigga. I didn't shout him out because he was hanging out for years. I shouted him out because he dead seriously has the best podcast out right now when it comes to battle rap. A lot of us can't sit around and just, you know, absorb so much, but if you can sit around and give them an hour, give them two hours, and he'll, they'll, he'll let you, they'll let you know everything that's happening in battle rap, everything that's happening in the culture, everything that's happening from people that he mess with, the people that he don't mess with. In case you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, I'm talking about math, motherfucking hopper, make some motherfucking noise! Yo, I sincerely, uh -huh. I sincerely appreciate that, bro. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's sincere, it's sincere. I can't, no, it's it's I mean, from the, my heart. Throughout the years, like, yeah, yeah. Phone conversations and mm -hmm. speaking to you, the knowledge yeah. that you share with yeah, me and yeah. all that. No, you you've been a real dude. But let's let's just let's just let's just um boil it down, right? Because your idea I actually word is born. Three and a half years ago, Murder Mook had stepped to me. Right. And Murder Mook said, Yo, I think I, he wanted to do a podcast. I can and I said, this, right? Go ahead, yeah, please. Yeah. That's yours. So when I said to Murder Mook, the first dude who does a podcast about battle rap and keeps it about battle rap. Yeah. Is gonna win. I had no. Now I'm not. I'm not saying because your idea is perfected better than I applied it. Like, right. and that's real shit. Not gassing right. you up or nothing like that. But I knew. So me, and me as a person that I'm, I'm pretty much busy, right? A lot of people are busy, like, and battle rap really conceals a lot of your time. It's like, a, it's a like, lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's like, it's like, it's like a city time. sport, like any other sport. You, right. you, you get into it. So, what made you say to yourself, you know what? I'm gonna um. I'm going to be the one to step up and cover our culture. Well, the show is called My Expert Opinion. Mm -hmm. And we live in an era where mm -hmm. anybody who pick up a, a camera mm -hmm. to a certain extent it's is a, a vlogger. Yeah. Right. And they got an opinion on whatever's yeah. going on, whether, mm -hmm. whether it's sports, whether it's hip-hop, whatever. Mm -hmm. 
politics, whatever. Right. All mm-hmm. they need is a camera. Yep. But a lot of the times, their information is not accurate. Mm-hmm. They don't got no no type of history mm-hmm. behind what they talking right. about. Mm-hmm. They don't they don't know the big picture. Mm-hmm. So I said, yo, I'm tired of these motherfuckers talking about yeah. me and getting the shit wrong. Yeah. Right. And I know it happens to like a lot of other battle rappers, a lot of other rappers too. Right. So I said, yo. I'm going to make this show my mm-hmm. expert opinion. Mm-hmm. So if you need to know something about battle rap or mm-hmm. things going on around me or in this world, mm-hmm. you get an expert to tell you right. what it is. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, mm-hmm. Now, here goes a Super Thug OG shirt for you, baby. Oh. But, oh, but, um, but honestly, you just have Royce the 5'9 on. Yeah, yeah, it's open. I'm sorry. I don't know. I have no idea. He wore it already. It's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, I got something for you, too. Pass me that bag right um, there. Pass but me that bag. you just have Royce the 5'9 on, right? Yeah. And... It was a part where I felt like Royce, you, you asked Royce, you said, would, you, would he be opposed to having battle rappers sit with him for two or three months? Right. Like, to, to, to sharpen his yo, skills. I, yo, I was... To sharpen Royce's skills? Yeah. Okay, now... No, 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 you don't get it. You don't get, don't get it. it. You don't get it. I get it. I get it. No, no, I want to hear you don't it. Understand it's this. like slap boxing, right? It's like slap like boxing. Like training. Yeah, slap boxing is different from going in the real ring. Right. right. So I, there's a lot of niggas who can slap box the shit out of you. Like, get him ready for a battle? Is that what Like, you slap boxing in Long Island? It's right. different from slap boxing right. in Brooklyn. There you go. Right. You did what I'm saying? There you go. You might need to sit with a couple Brooklyn dudes before right, you right, right, right. <laughs> try to slap box somebody right. in yeah. the middle of Albany Project. Sure. You feel what I'm saying? Because, and, and, and let me, let me, let me, um, let me uh, try to reiterate what he's, he's saying is um, when you battle rap, like we know Royce have done, and we know he's, he's battle rap before, but not on that stage like a, like a Joe Boy. But when you battle rap, you have to have the most thickest skin in the fucking world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because here you are, whether you could beat this person in a real fight or not, you have to take their abuse Thanks. for that next three Thanks. minutes. Or for the next seven. So you can literally sit at somebody. You can literally battle somebody that you beat up before. <laughs> you can literally beat this nigga up before. And this nigga can still get you. Because he, he can say, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, almost like a weakness that physically you can whoop his ass and then try to do it in a battle run. Right. Yeah. But like not, not, not necessarily like, and, and that's funny, because right. I did battle Dose twice. Let's go on there. Let's go bring it up. Yeah, go ahead. But, go ahead. Um, go ahead. but it's just different mm-hmm. from what it was before. Mm-hmm. So if you're thinking about, mm-hmm. oh, 8 Mile, right. yeah, I could do that. I could grab a mic, right, rap on right. a beat. Nah, it's not that. Right. This is more of it's like a sport. It's, it's a, how you yeah. move. It's how you perform. It's what you say. Is the cadence. Is is so many things to it that we see like artists try to come and, and battle in this in this new era. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's evolved completely different yeah. from what it was. Like and, Cassidy was once a god. Right. And of Joe, Joe Buttons and Cassidy is kind of and the, 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 both my boys. Right. But they're kind of like the. The, that, that child that like when you look that up like yo you gotta yeah. stay sharp smoke you, you on the track sl- yeah, yeah you gotta stay sharp my, my, my boy that I used to manage the artist Recognize I don't know if you remember Recognize um, he, MTV mm-hmm. he won the MTV battle MTV mm-hmm. I remember that From his, and then he tried to I think I forget what battle league he just stepped into it again oh, yeah, it just wasn't smoked. the same for him yeah, yeah, he got smoked yeah, 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 he, he, he wasn't doing that no more yeah. he wasn't doing we call it a 30 he wasn't doing it no more I mean he's a nasty MC but he just he wasn't doing that anymore right cause it's different man it's just you you on that stage you gotta control everything right everything right and that that's a big part of it I'm glad you just said that but I was trying to tell Royce you did I was trying to tell him make sure we go back there yeah let me make sure we go back there but wait wait hold on for me okay yeah yeah please cause you got sweatshirts okay, I'm talking about goddamn, yeah, you know please. Goddamn, let me put that in my car. You know God damn it, God damn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is this is you and all. Oh, good looking out, dog. Yeah. What's well, this, this, these are my brothers. Okay. Um, it's, that's not hollow the dawn. No, nah, it's okay. not hollow the dawn. You saw the battle. You know what's going on. Okay, okay, all right, cool. I was supposed to get LOL, LOM. All right, cool. What's this? All right, cool. Let me get my shit together because I'm wearing my shit. What were we talking about? We was into this. All right, we were talking the evolution about of it. the evolution of it yeah. and mm-hmm. Royce. All right, I knew exactly what you meant when you said the Royce. But go back, because look, you guys are talking like insider talk. Whoever's no. listening doesn't know <laughs> exactly what happened with Royce. All right, so, so, so cool. Explain Royce, it. Royce came on the show. Can, can, I, can right. I say something? Yeah. And then you, you tell me if I'm accurate or not. All right, cool. And you tell me what, because I, I see your face when you, when you said the Royce. You said, yo, look. And Royce is like, and you know, as an MC, he's supposed to be offended. He was like, he was like what? He's like, the last thing I need is help. Right. And as an artist that knows how to rap, he's right. He doesn't need help. It's not that he needs help right. with no bars or anything like that. It's the, it's the stage presence. 
It's how you command. It's like I was watching, I don't want to say this guy's name, but I was watching this guy today because I was, you know, doing my shit. Mm-hmm. And all he was doing was going, who, who, who? He was saying nothing. But he was going, who, who, who? And the crowd would go, ah! And I'm like, yo, look, turn him off. And I, I turned him off and I put him on mute. And me and my barber, my barber was there, and it had no effect to it. But right. once you did it, and it's like that's a that's that's a that's an art to it too. Right. It's just it's, yelling. It's like throwing like, your you know, opponent off. It's the cadence. It's, it's you know what's funny. But Eminem, am I Eminem just that? dropped the album. Okay, good. Okay. Eminem just dropped the album, uh-huh. and the way he's rapping on the album, like battle rap, is a battle rap mm-hmm. format mm-hmm. where he he starts off oh, his latest calm. Album, yeah, yeah he starts mm-hmm. off calm. Mm-hmm. He builds a tempo, mm-hmm. and then by the end of the, the, the third verse or the second verse, mm-hmm. he's bodying it. He's just going crazy. Mm-hmm. Right. In a way, that's a battle rap format. Because mm, it's one mm-hmm. round, two round, and that last round. Right, but just the, the, the verse of it is like, okay, you start off mm-hmm. calm mm-hmm. or however you want to start. Mm-hmm. Right. But eventually, there's a tempo to it that has to pick up or the fans would be like, all right, all right cool. When um, you flip the coin, do you always want to go first, or you wanna you wanna see who your point is? It depends. There's a strategy to it. Mm-hmm. If you know it's somebody that's gonna bring up something about you, and you mm-hmm. wanna kind of like cancel out what he's saying, right. you wanna go first so you can address it first. Mm-hmm. So when they say what they say, it's, right. it's like, uh, yeah, like he already told you when he spoke yeah. about that. You know what I mean? One thing about you, bro, I ain't gonna lie. So I researched you, and then I said, you know what? Let me research these other niggas. Mm-hmm. And I ain't gonna lie, out of 300 battles. You watch about, 300 battles? No, I mean, like, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's playing right? battle right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But out of, like, I'm just saying, like, out of a whole bunch, like, like, it was 300? Yeah. 287 people brought up your name in their battle. Yeah. They'll yeah. be like, cause Mav, you was yeah, a friend yeah, with Mav, Mav, and then you was such a such a Mav. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, like you're actually a metaphor, like, yeah, like in Mav. A way. <laughs> like, like, like wh- what is? How did you make your mark it, on it, the game? It's the with? history. It's the history of it. Like, mm-hmm. um, when I started, mm-hmm. I started in street corners, just mm-hmm. like everybody else, mm-hmm. lobbies, smoking people. Mm-hmm. Um, I, rem- I remember I saw Buckshot one day in my hood. He used, to, he used to mess with my man Kev O'Head mm-hmm. on Union and Utica. Mm-hmm. So I'm a kid, you're like 14 like years old. Like early Black Moon era? That, yeah, that mm-hmm. right. I ride up on him on my bike. I'm like, yo, Buckshot. He's like, yo, what's up? I was like, yo, who the illest rapper in Crown Heights? Mm. He's like, I don't know, shortiest man rappers out here. I was like, mm. me, nigga. And I rode <laughs> off on my bike. So I always had that like comp- <laughs> competitive <laughs> shit in me, mm. you know what I'm saying? So mm. I would battle dudes two at a time, all types mm. of shit. But as as the battle rap shit changed, where Smack introduced mm-hmm. battles, no beat, on the street corner, mm-hmm. murder Mook, Jay Mills, right. you know, just just Mook going in talking about his girl, talking mm-hmm. about Vado, your yeah, man mm-hmm. Vado looked mm-hmm. like he got hit by a Tahoe, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? He was going crazy on. Mm-hmm. After that era, there was Fight Club. Mm-hmm. Fight Club took over battles for a while. Wasn't that Riggs and them was doing that? Was Riggs right. involved? Riggs Morales and them from oh, Shady? I, I'm not sure what that was. I think was Riggs he, was involved in some, some capacity. I, I, don't, I don't recall, but, yeah. but I remember, and everybody remembers yeah. International P. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, hold it down! Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. remember uh-huh. him. So that took it to MTV. Mm. And that kind of made it like show us like, quiet oh, a little shit. bit. Yeah, Smack mm. was quiet at the time. He was mad at all y'all niggas for going to MTV. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, well, I wasn't really fucking with the Fight Club then. Mm. Mm. I had bad. battles. Nah, 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 not, yet? Bad. not yet. Okay, not yet. Yeah, We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> so, boom. So, so I go to do the Fight Club. Mm. I battle Sirius Jones for the first time. Mm. I lost that battle. Mm. It's tight. Went home, came back. Stay right there, stay right there. Now, this is when the judges made it, or this is... The judges. Okay. Right. So, came back, started Mm -hmm. smoking dudes. Mm -hmm. After that, Grind Time emerged. Grind Mm -hmm. Time was like the... That's the the one that Rec went back and did the... the Okay. It was Grind Time. Right. So, Grind Time, that came up, and, like, you know, everybody was flying to Cali or coming to New York, doing these battles. It was going coming down to Miami sometimes. Solomon battle um, Ines in Miami. It was a big deal. Mm -hmm. Um, Me and T-Rex, when I battled on the Smack DVD, Mm -hmm. I was supposed to battle Rex when I battled Dose. Mm -hmm. Everybody remember the... (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That was oh, in whatever. Philly, correct? Right. Yeah. No, that wasn't in Philly. That was in Harlem. That was in Harlem? That was in Harlem. That was Holy a PAL shit. in Harlem. 
So Dose is not from Philly? He is from oh, Philly. Okay, all right, that's what I'm he, he came down with Cicero. Okay, all right, cool. I'm thinking y'all went to Philly. Okay. Nah, there, I was supposed to battle T-Rex. I got there. They was like, T-Rex don't want to battle. So Wait, but hold on. For years, I've defended you, and I've defended you behind your back. So Thank I have to, you. I have to Thank defend you. you. Appreciate like, it. He clearly was putting his head. Pause. I, I don't know Dose. Yeah. I don't want him to feel like right. I'm in front of your face nah, and I'm so taking it, your thing. It's all love, but... Like, after y'all heard, heard your Vlad TV explanation, yeah. big up to Vlad, you know what I mean? I haven't been up there. Me and him haven't spoken years, but it's okay. Right. Um... Like I had to reiterate, I had to want to go back there and watch that because I remember it, me agreeing with you. Like mm -hmm. not because you were my friend, but it was just like at the time it was like give me my space. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas are saying some harsh shit about each other. The, the least you could do is not spit on each other and not put your hat right. rims on each other. He gave yeah. me the pippin. Okay. <laughs> it was my joint right, right. I was right. Like yo, this is so, crazy. So, so you didn't know him prior to that? No, I ain't okay. Know him. Okay. So I met him that day uh -huh. and I spoke to him before the battle. I was mm -hmm. like yo. Mm -hmm. I saw what just happened because they had a battle before that. Mm -hmm. Where in Philly, it was just a thing where they were just getting each other's face, yeah, and that yeah. that looked crazy. Yeah. So this dude was in this other dude's face so much he backed him down to the edge of the stage. Wow. Like homeboy was by the stairs. Oh, shit. Right. Didn't make no sense to me. Right. So me and my man's just standing on the side, like, nah, we not doing that. Right. So I spoke to Dose. I was like, this is a good look. We gonna smack or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, we not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Started rapping. Mm -hmm. I rap, it was fine. Right. He started rapping, right. all of a sudden, right. crazy. Right. And he almost kept walking towards you. Like yeah, I he kept walking, walking, he yeah. walked towards you, go ahead. Right, so that happened. Mm -hmm. Then the grind time thing emerged. Mm -hmm. um, me and T-Rex was going back and forth as I called out T-Rex that day. Mm -hmm. When I said, um, I was supposed to battle T-Rex, but he was scared. Mm -hmm. Now, we in Harlem. Mm -hmm. Everybody went crazy. Ah, yo, Rex, he talking uh, crazy, he talking uh, crazy, Rex. Uh, Rex ain't battled me. I ended up battling Dose. That shit mm -hmm. happened. We tore up the gymnasium. Right. Um, you saw people sliding across the floor, wow, yeah. all types of crazy shit. And um, that's, that's kind of where battle rap kind of took a turn. You turned it. Yeah, a little bit. I, I, I played a part in it. Now, now, let's be clear. Because I seen, like, the blogs after that where you was, like, you was apologetic. You was, right, like, right. you know what? I probably still do it again if he violated, but I didn't want to bring that to battle. I didn't, right? I didn't that. want right. that black eye. I called Smack the next day, like, right. yo, my fault, bro. Right. You know what I mean? He was, like, nah, son. I spoke to nigga. I'm putting it out, son. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So, I'm, like, oh, shit. Because, I at this time, this is your first, like, your first scrape in, yeah. in battle rap? That was the first scrape. That was the first scrape. It was like, all right, cool. People was like, now they're getting scared to book you or, or this didn't happen yet? No, there was no bookings. We Wait, was doing all this yeah. for free. Yeah. This Everything is... was happening for free. Every smack oh, battle you saw, T-Rex on Casa, all that was free. Wasn't nobody getting paid. I did see Arsenal say something like that. Where was you at when we was doing this shit for, for the barbershop? Right. For, for yeah. nothing. For free for nothing. I, th I thought that was exaggerated. No, balls. no, no. no. Nah, Murder, Murder Moore versus Serious Jones, no money. Yeah. No money. Oh. It was all about the love back then. It was a, it was a love and a respect. Yeah. Everybody's mindset back then was, I rap, but I don't got 100000 to put into my project or my promotion. Right. Right. How can I get a name? That's battle the way. rap. Yeah, that was the way. Wow. Like, if you remember back then, battle rappers was getting deals. Yeah. Jin got a deal yeah. off a of battle rapper. Yeah. Uh, my, song, my song got a deal off uh, uh, battle yeah. rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to move this. I started off. It's okay. Head, it's okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so that, was the, that was the thing. Like, yo, we're going to Fight Club. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're trying to get a music deal. Mm -hmm. But this is the way that we build our name up. Mm -hmm. So, that happened. Um... Then grind, after grind time kind of started fading, Smack decided, yo, um, I see you and T-Rex mm. going back and forth. We was going back and forth for like a year on Worldstar. Right. Because right. Rex was like, yo, I don't know why you called me out. Ain't nobody tell me you I'm supposed to battle right. you. Right. Meanwhile, Beasley, no, he told me, right. yo, you battling T-Rex. I right. show up. He tells T-Rex, don't battle him. He clipped up. So clipped up meaning you clipped up meaning I was ready for oh, for okay. T Rex that and day. And Beasley was basically on T Rex side. You trying to say? I I think so. Okay. Because why Cause, would you tell me? Because that was yo. like the golden childs at the time. Right. All them boys. So I, I okay. came through. I ended up battling Dose. That whole fight thing happened, mm -hmm. and then that brought a lot of attention to the battles. Mm -hmm. After that, me and T Rex back and forth, back and forth. I, I dropped a blog. Um, called, T Rex is Dot Mark. Right? Yeah, he's okay. Dot Mark. Uh -huh. I dropped a blog with T-Rex um, with like 
when you know them save save the kids African commercials. <laughs> okay. I put his fit, his picture <laughs> in <every> commercial, <laughs> and then I dropped like a little song after the shit or whatever. Right. Then he would come back right. and he'd be with his boys in the gambling right. spot, and they'd be like, "Yo, man, for the mother, you say something foul, we running in your mouth." Then I do a blog and be like, "Yo, I did when you niggas." Are. So we was going back and forth for a minute. Okay, I got Finally, it. somebody decided I'm gonna pay for this to happen. So. Swag, shout out to Swag from the West Coast. He put up $5,000 for each of us to battle. And then Smack decided, I'm going to start a whole battle league. Wow. And it started from there. Mm. And that's when a lot of battle rappers started getting paid, started getting these checks right. and going to different areas and the smaller battle leagues. It's own lane. There's like five battle leagues in every state in America. How about Drake right now? Drake just started. What did he do? He and, did the caffeine deal with and Smack. I, and I heard it didn't go too great. Um, yeah, it's got, that's kind of weird. Can you say that right? yet, though? Yeah, it, I mean, he had one event, and no one tuned in. No, one. No, no, they tuned in. They tuned in, but... But the, the feed was messed up. Feed they was wasn't ready up. for how many people was going to watch. So then maybe the, you can't... The jury ain't out on that yet. You know? The jury no, ain't the jury out is out. It's fucked but, up. But nah, everybody nah, got nah, their no. theories. Nah, nah. Yeah. Everybody got their theories, because Drake is... He's Canadian, a battle rap fan, right. though. But he loves battle rap. Yeah, like, yeah. I saw him out here right. when the, when Miami Heat won the championship the second time. Mm -hmm. I'm standing outside. Mm -hmm. They closed the doors at Mansion. Mm -hmm. We trying to figure out how we going to get inside. Mm -hmm. And Drake go like this, math, let's go. No, oh. no. Somebody <laughs> else tapped me on the shoulder. Right. I'm like, what's up? He's like, yo, you mad Fafa? I'm like, yeah. He said, yo, I'm Dwayne Wade, brother. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Me. Right. Took me around the block. We went through the back way. Right. I come up in the VIP. I'm like, right. oh, so now nah, then over here. Right. LeBron, the whole team, everybody. Right. Chris, Chris Bosh was on the other side for some reason. Everybody yeah. was here, man. Right. We get where you're going, going with it. We get where you're going with it, man. We get where you're going with it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just, just, an <laughs> just, just an observation. Just an observation. So, so I get a tap on the shoulder. I turn around. It's Drake. And Drake uh -huh. is like, yo, what's up? What you uh -huh. doing here? Yo, you going crazy this year. Yo, you should battle K-Shine. Da, da, da. Like, I'm like, yo. So he was really tuned in. Okay. He was like, yo, what y'all do on that stage make what we do looks, look like and child And K-Shine is Dot Mob too, right? I'm trying to make yeah, sure. Yeah, he's okay. Dot Mob too. Okay. At that time. Okay. Oh, they because they're not the, Dot Mob no more? So, so when, when Drake said, what y'all do on that stage makes what we do look like child's play, I was like, mm. Are you, you fuck with it like that? Right. That's some. That's, he's about to ask now you, you know some when battle rap. You know when battle rap. And I, you know I'm all over the place, right? Yeah. So, but you know when battle rap kind of made me say like, this might be a little bit iller than rap right now, is when the the the, the tag teams. Mm. When when the tag teams started going and they started making it one verse. Like, like, you know, one usually it would be one people, person boom, 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 and then, yeah. then it'd be the next person go, then right. the next person that. But when it was one bar from two different dudes and they were talking, yeah. and I could just look at that shit, I was like, holy yeah. shit. Because I remember um, seeing K Shine uh, battle DNA, and then I remember them actually getting mm -hmm. on the same team, team together. Yeah, the two and twos, and, and it was running wild. And yeah. I'm like, yo, how is that? How, how is you can battle somebody and then, like, because it's really not I, personal? I, it, 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 to a certain extent, we all want to be professional. Right. Um, right. If, if nobody ain't ever fight or nothing like right. that, like, why not? If right. you would team up and you could get a bag, why not? Right. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that, it's just like rap. Like, mm -hmm. nor if you decided mm -hmm. to do an album with Nas tomorrow. Right. You, right. you know what I mean? Y'all right. put together, y'all work together, and y'all right. make the money. Right. That's, that's the same thing right. with battle rap. The two right. and twos, though, they... Two and twos is crazy. They I turned up. I seen the girl. It was one girl from Brooklyn and one girl from New Orleans. I don't know their names. Jazz and oh. official. Shout out to Jazz and oh, official. Oh, they had on the War Report camouflage on. I was just rooting for them. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that girl. It was just great because yeah. I, like, I like. I say as a battle rap fan, right. I miss so much. That's why your podcast is so important. Right. Is because. A lot of times I don't watch. Contrary to popular belief, mm -hmm. a lot of times I don't watch the games. You a lot of times I watch it. First Take. Mm. And you I find watch out what's Undisputed. Going on. I watch yeah. Shannon Sharp. I watch Skip Bayless. Mm. I watch Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman. Facts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And That's then cool. I say, oh, okay, because I only watch the first half of the game or the second half of the game. But now I know what happened the second half of the game. Right. And I'm fully informed. And that's what your podcast does. Make some noise for that, goddammit. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's make some noise Appreciate for that. It. And I love that you had a female a part of it. 
What made you do that? What, was that a part of it at first? Because I think I've seen a couple of episodes he wasn't, right? No, he's going to sit here and act like he ain't tell me. Okay. Come Yo, on, you bro. Need, you need to keep on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we going to keep on the show. Huh? What's the name, Mr. <laughs> yeah, 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 keep on the show. No, 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 <laughs> I'll give you a prize for that, bro. I'll give you a prize for that. I'll give you a prize for that. No, because you need girls. You need girls. It was in my mind, but he was like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on the show. What made you put it? Because the female rap, the, the female rap thing is big now. Yeah. Like, it's big. Like, we all slept on it. I mean, when I'm saying we, I'm talking about the outsiders, not, not you guys as the right. insiders. But we all slept on it like the WNBA. Right. We all was like, the thing about it is, like, like, like the WNBA, they can dunk, though. I yeah. mean, these these females, they talking about yeah. pulling out Glocks nah, and, and yeah. smacking it's your crazy. baby father. It's crazy. Like, this is, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. like, so, so, but what, 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 what made you, like, want to incorporate females as well? Um, I'm female battle rap queen of the ring. Mm -hmm. They've been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. They haven't gotten the same type of mm -hmm. uh, of steam mm -hmm. as what we do right. because you know there's a lot of controversy around what we do. Right. There's all types of exposure going on. Right. Just this past weekend, this dude came home and this was his comeback battle. And the dude he's battling pulls out his paperwork like, nah, you not a fish, you snitched on your oh. man. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, right, right, it's right. crazy. Right, right, right. Right? But female battle rap, you know, just like hip hop, they kind of sleep on the females until there's that one that's like, right. and then she opens the gate for everybody right. else. Mm -hmm. E Heart was kind of that one mm -hmm. where it was like she could battle dudes too if she wanted to. But they battling dudes now too. Yeah, I seen Charlie Clips. They always, they always battle dudes. Yeah, but he battled Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Let me just say something because I just I respect the females a little bit more because females they cut a little deeper when they go when they diss each other. Yeah, they they crazy. Yeah, they, they, they crazy. They, yeah, they they, right. they cut deep. And, and when it started, right? You go to a Queen of the Ring event, it would be battle, fight, fight. outside, <laughs> battle, fight, fight outside, uh, battle. Fight outside. You talking about the, the people who just night. battled will fight outside? Or Some of the people that just battled. Some people in their entourage. Mm -hmm. um, other battle rap chicks that's not battling that night. Like, uh. it would be going down <laughs> the whole night. I done saved a couple of these chicks' lives. Like, yo, break it up. Oh, <coughs> Is that, truck almost hit them all Has that ever been a problem for you when you battling? Because, like, again, you guys hit to the juggler. Right. So you're not just battling just, uh, you know... Uh, I'm just going to use the painting for example. You're not battling the painting. You're battling the painting around it. So you know bars about their friends. Everything. You know everything. Everything. You know everything. what? Dude, it, it's get, vicious yeah. now, bro. Yeah, it's before vicious. I get into, get into what I was going at, what kind of studying it is when you, when, when you, when you say you're going to battle a dude I'm gonna, you, I'm, gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the process. This is the process, right? Cool. Look at his face. His face. Yo, I cool. He got so happy. Like, don't, don't give it all away. No. I cool. No. You, you, being in it for ten years, I got okay. history with a lot of people. Okay. So I've been around. I've seen certain things. So let I, me ask you something. Yeah. Please keep keep your train of thought. Mm -hmm. Even when you hang it with somebody that you cool with, you still keeping balls on them. <laughs> it's like the CIA. You gotta protect your secrets. You gotta file on everybody. You gotta protect your secrets. Okay. Okay. Continue don't get there. drunk around me. Don't right. argue with your man. Don't. Get Smack. I think that's what Pusha T Nothing. does. I swear to God. I think that's what Pusha T does. But, Pusha but, T hangs but, around but, you and just collects data, information. I swear to God he did. Yeah, that's me. crazy. It's crazy <laughs> that you said that. I you not. But I will never battle of, Pusha think, T, by the way. Think of a whole shit league of Pusha T's. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody is just... But it, it's deeper than that. The right. wordplay, the the metaphors, the right. things that we do on the performance, jumping right. over each other. Because you and Charlie talking. Clips, yeah, yeah, I've seen him like defend you in battles. Yeah. But if you ever came down to it, you got bars for Clips too. No, we battled. <laughs> we battled. After y'all got close? Our, the whole like the, the whole angle <laughs> for our battle was when when that situation happened in L.A. Okay. When I went out there and I ended up fighting the, five dudes, this, Clips disaster. was with me. Oh yeah, he, he said didn't he fight. Went out. Oh, he said he went out. He, said, he didn't fight. Oh. So, so when we that. battled, yeah. I called him flip flops. Because <laughs> he had on flip flops. He said, yo, I had on slippers. He I couldn't fight like that. I was like, what? <laughs> flip flops? <laughs> so somebody tried to pop on your malls <laughs> and you got on slippers. <laughs> you ain't going to do shit now, nah, B. So the whole battle, that's, that was oh, the angle for him. Shit. Okay, but we, okay. we got a lot of history. And mm. it's entertaining to see, if, especially if you start started with it from the beginning. Mm. And right. you understand some of the stories being told on stage. Mm. It's still understandable for people that never watched it. Mm. But it's... It's like mm. it's like a soap opera for people yeah, who saw better, it unfold. Right. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the battle between me and Hollow. 
Hollow if you remember the NYB days when Hollow was, was me and Hollow was crew, mm -hmm. we was friends right. and this, right. then, and the third, and then the fallout, right. and then to see the battle, it's like, wow, right. this is crazy. Because I think they, that was someone accused him of hanging with somebody like that, that you had problems with. Yeah, again, okay. It, okay. there was a lot of, I, I went on a revenge tour. <laughs> okay, what about, what about, what about, and I'm just asking you because you represent in battle rap. Right. I we brought this up the other day. This is one of the illest rounds I saw in a, a long time. The dude put on the dude's Walmart suit. <laughs> T Top, shout out to T Top, shout out to Rum Nitty. He's like, what? He put on his Walmart suit. Now I thought this was a like joke. Like his uniform? Yeah, I his thought uniform. it was a joke. It's not a joke. So I went, <laughs> yes, and I went and I asked, and they said, no, homie really worked at Walmart yeah, at the time. And I yeah. said, no, that's not fair. Like, no, no, he <laughs> wasn't working at that time. But he worked But he right. worked there. Oh, okay. And T Top found out Rum Nitty worked. At Walmart. He was like, the gun bar king? How's it? He, what? Okay, all right, cool. And the third round, he put on the Walmart vest. <laughs> yo, yo, my dude, tears is coming out my shit. Like, I was like, yo. He was like, the red beam is from the checkout gun. And he, was, uh, he, said, he said, you the type of nigga that be checking the receipts when you leave. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Like, it's so much schemes. Like, when I seen, uh, uh, I think it's, it's, it's Kayshawn, he put on, and he killed DNA with the DNA shit. Yeah, yeah, the professor, professor like, Sean. So what about much? homie that took a shit? I didn't oh, like that. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah, like that. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's what Illis shit. He attempted. Right. He didn't actually Didn't he shit. try twice, though? <laughs> Daylight, right? That's the name. Daylight. 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 Daylight couldn't pass the light of fluid. Uh -huh. It was crazy. The, the battle rap is just crazy. And, and when you say the incident with or disaster, um, I'm, that's disaster? Yeah. And that was in California? That was in California. Okay. Let's, let's, get, let's get into it. This is your uh -huh. second fight? This is the second incident? This is the third. Okay. We forgot the second one. What's the second? It's actually the fifth, but on camera it's the third. <laughs> right, Serious Jones third. is the fifth, right? That's No. Ah, oh, damn. That's six? Serious Sarah, Sarah Jones is like... <laughs> The fourth. Okay, all right, cool. There was dose. There's some things happening between then. No, oh, not on camera. We don't got to talk camera. about it. We okay. don't, we're not going to talk if about it. If it's not Googleable, it ain't suitable. <laughs> all right, leave it alone. Okay. And um, then the Sirius Jones battle happened. Sirius Jones happened before disaster? Yes. I thought disaster was first. No, okay. Sirius Jones called disaster and actually kind of egged them on to make that happen. Mm. So it, like it's 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 crazy. Uh -huh. Okay, crazy. Let's, all right. So so Sirius Jones. Okay, let's take right. it from there. Because you had you said you made it earlier into your thing. You said you lost the first battle with Sirius. I lost the first battle. Mm. So 2013, um, 2012, I lost to Calico. Everybody counted me out. There was Calico's a million Detroit blogs. Dude? Yeah. Okay. It's a million blogs. All oh, math careers over. Mm. I went on such a run in 2013. I battled four top tiers in one month, mm. which was unheard of until that time. Everybody mm. was battling spaced out maybe five, six months. Mm. I started taking battles on every league. And especially Mook, crazy. Mook was taking like six months to Mook, a year. Mook takes like six years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's his thing. How y'all gauging the wins, though, during the battles? I mean, it's, it's an art. So there are there, there really no judges. They have, right. There are judge battles, right. Right. but there's no judges. Right. So, you got to beat somebody really bad. Like, definitively, right? right? Right, For their fans to be like, right. nah, he lost that. Because most so. of the time, sometimes they'll even shout out, 2-0 and oh, or 3-0. Yeah, 2-0 oh. like, three, three The fans will tell you. When, <laughs> when, they, when, when you in the building and the, and the fans are yelling, 3-0, 3-0, <laughs> oh, oh, it's over. Yeah, right? it's it over. hurts. Me, personally, I don't care about winning on camera. Mm. I care about winning in the building, mm. no matter where I go. Mm. So, that's that. That winner, okay. That's that winner talk. So I went on this crazy run mm -hmm. where I battled more times than any other battle battle rapper had ever battled up until that point in one year. Mm. And Sirius Jones was like the, the end of that. Summer Madness 3. Um, I ain't gonna lie, Sirius Jones, he had battled Jen, I think he's... He, he battled Jen, killed him. And then he, it was this one line. He said, some shit, what you... Ain't you... Why should, you ain't over there. Ain't there... 
15 billion people in China, yeah. you can't even go platinum over, over there. there. Yeah. I said, oh my God, that he smoked hurt him. it. I was in the building that night. He smoked <laughs> that him. That hurt it. Okay. He smoked him. Mm-hmm. So what people don't know is that I did a, a lot of these battles mm-hmm. for the bag so I could come out here mm-hmm. and find my daughter, mm-hmm. who's half Colombian. God bless. And um, I came out here. I was out here for a long time. Okay. Doing that. That's another story. It'll be in the movie. That's commendable. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So, after not being able to find her, right. not being able to communicate with her mom to set up where I can see my see my daughter, I fly back to New York to battle Sirius mm-hmm. Jones. I'm not in the right state of mind. Mm-hmm. I'm angry at life mm-hmm. at this point. Mm-hmm. I get on stage with this guy. He takes like 15 minutes to get to the stage. He was like a pimp or something? He had yeah, he was dressed in a pimp. He had the, the whole body paint on the, on the chicks. He brought out three chicks, topless, with body paint. They were kind of nice. They, they, they were. They were kind of nice. They distracted the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> was nobody paying attention to rap, Great son? game plan. Great nobody game wanted plan. to hear no rap, son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, oh. Because, uh-huh. you know, it's a, it's a battle rap event, and, and I'm sorry. There are females at these events. Yeah, but they're the raw females. They're the females with Reebok Classics but on. But it's not like going to just the club with right. a ratio. Yeah. They got on no Reebok Classics. You know, uh, it's a it's, toss-up on listen, a ratio. Listen, listen, listen. Right. I got Capone Noriega, and Capone Noriega show. There's some rough women that show up. <laughs> I'll be right. honest, I love them too. Right. But they're rough. Right. They, they're but, a little rough but, behind but, the edges. But it's usually more guys yes. right. than girls. Yeah. So a bunch of guys standing up for hours see mm. three topless women walk out on stage. Mm. They ain't trying to hear no raps. Mm-hmm. So the battle, so <laughs> Sirius Jones goes, goes first. He raps for like eight minutes. Mm-hmm. The contract say it's supposed to be three, mm. three, three thirty. Mm. So I'm tight about that. I'm like, yo, y'all not gonna tell him like Tom? Right. Yo, Tom, Tom calling Tom on him. Mm. And nobody stopping him. Eventually he gets stopped. I, I set off my round, I said, you got on stage trying to rap that slick shit. I should cock back, take your top off like these three crackhead bitches. Everybody went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. I remember that. So as I'm rapping, he's tapping these chicks like twerk. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> Bro, I'm looking at the crowd. They're all like. <laughs> <laughs> they were the, the chicks. Okay. Nobody's yeah, hitting yeah. no bars at this point. <laughs> yeah, uh. And then he was heckling me during, during yeah. the round, saying stuff and all that. And... I don't like that. I don't, I don't talk during during people's raps unless I really don't like you. And I just went, I lost it mm-hmm. for a second. Mm-hmm. And we had a fight on stage. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Now, it's rumors that you guys was going to actually do a, a one-round battle rap and one-round boxing? Actually, it was supposed to be me and Disaster oh, that okay. did the boxing match. But we had some complications. The people that were trying to book it wanted us to go pro so that we wouldn't have to wear headgear and we could really get crazy. Wow. That's a lot that's, of hoops That's still up through. in the air. If anybody wants to put up a check for that, yeah, that's well, a let lot me of know. Shit you gotta wow. go through yeah. to go pro. But, but pay-per-view-wise, that would probably do a good million as far as battle rap. Yeah. Because you, you, know you and Sirius, have y'all worked that out? We did. We battled we did. again. Hmm. And the funny thing is, after the Sirius Jones battle, I came out here and I saw my daughter oh, after not incredible. seeing her for nine years. God bless. Let's make some noise. We ain't know that. We ain't know that. Naya, I love you. You're not going to watch this, though. But, (laughs) you know, um, your mom's a seed. You know what I mean? So, Mm -hmm. we we did the battle. Mm -hmm. Again, the crowd is just standing there like, when y'all going to fight? We just want to see the fight. We didn't fight. At the end of the battle, we shook hands. We went outside. We did a blog, laughed with each other. And... That got the most views out of everything around that situation. Right. They were just happy to see, right. okay, these guys are cool again. Sportsmanship. Right. Yeah. Fast. And, I'm, and obviously, like, as a man, you had to apologize because... Of course. I, yeah, yeah. Of course, because it, it, it really didn't have that much to do with him. Right. It was just where I was at. Because I remember, time. I think you said you was hungry or some shit. Like, nah, I, 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 I did that to mess with him because <laughs> okay, okay, okay. he, he did okay. a blog saying, you know, I looked all the way and I did it all. He was a sucker. And that. So uh, I saw that. I was like, word. All right, cool. I'll make a no. joke out of this whole shit. I went on Vlad. I was like, yo, I was starving. <laughs> I ran to McDonald's right after this shit. Like, you know what I mean? All right. I was, I was just messing with him. But, right, 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 but battle you. rap is so... 
like you can get lost in the world. Right. Yeah. That's why I, I appreciate what you say about yo, just watch the show and you because it, it, it's really a lot to take in, bro. It's really a lot. It, it helps me. It helps me because as a person, um, like like I said, to me, I, I wanna I wanna say this. Real rap, that's where it comes from. It right. comes from that. It comes from me it's, saying I'm I'm better than you and I'm gonna prove it. Well, that's right, the origin right, right, right now. Right now, right now. Battling. Yeah. Right, right, right now. Yeah. And and if you're a real artist, you actually had to you had to have a battle somehow, some somewhere, way, some capacity. Way. Even if a DJ, yeah. even no, if a DJ, yeah, yeah, DJ, course, I'm yeah. sure it's like, just like, yeah. like how many battles have you seen in the studio? Exactly. Just from entourages yeah, exactly. or somebody that yo, my man, nice. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's how I met DMX. First time I met DMX, um, I said this on the podcast. Someone kicked his dog. And the dog told him. Like, <laughs> this, this, this is how I knew the nigga speaks, speaks animal. He speaks animal. He speaks full pit bull. Listen, his dog came in the studio. <laughs> Somebody said his, his dog. Homie, but you met the dog for real. No, the dog. Listen, a dog came in the room in Battery <laughs> Studios. Jungle, ironically, Jungle from Nas. Yeah. Nas brother was like, just get out of here. Kick, kick the dog. The dog went like this and left. <laughs> And the dog, DMX, the first time I met DMX, he walked in the door and said, niggas don't like dogs or something? <laughs> and I was amazed. I was like, wait a minute. That nigga told you something? What did he say? And I'm like, this is before DMX, this is before LL. I swear to God, it's the first time I met. And then he came in, and then the beats was going. He's like, oh, niggas rhyme? And we were like, oh, okay. He just, he didn't ask to rhyme. He just started <laughs> rhyming. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like oh, so, but my dog is good. He's like, yeah. He's like, my dog is good. I was like, holy shit. And I'm rhyming. And then, and then Moose and May start rhyming. Yeah, yeah. And before we know it, we just, it's just like you said. We didn't plan that shit. It was, yeah. just, it was no motherfucking um, thing. But, um, but that's true. DMX is speak to dogs for real. That's what I seen it. The original time. dog was that, good. That's my first time. That's the first time I seen it. But, that's the first time you met DMX. That's the first time I met DMX. Do you remember the first time we met? Damn, I don't remember. I get high a lot. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Where was you at, Mav? And how did this happen? <laughs> we was at SOBs. Okay, SOBs. Okay, in New York City. Okay, in New York City. I'm, I'm okay. standing on the corner. Mm -hmm. You come walking up. Yeah. Who got a bogey? I smell a bogey. Oh, I smell right. a bogey. That's right. Goddamn, I used to love New York. I was like, yo, I got you. I was like, yo, yo, Noy, my name, man. I know who you is, nigga. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I was like, oh, Definitely, shit. Man, I'm on point. Oh, shit. Goddamn, make some noise for me being on watching point. Nah, but I kid you not, man. The growth that you have done, mm -hmm. the thing about it is, we, you, you've done exactly what we've done. We sat around and we said, it's great media coverage of our culture. Right. But there isn't, there isn't our culture covering our culture. Right, it's not. And the, the, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I said, I... I I thought I told Murder Mook to do it. Then when I seen his podcast, with no disrespect to Mook, when I seen that he didn't have every element of battle rap, it couldn't keep me indulged. He, he because, had no elements. Because he rap. was king of that. Like, right. The thing is, you got to remain king of what you king at. Here's the funny thing. When he battled Averb, mm -hmm. one of the lines that hit the hardest mm -hmm. was Averb told him, you're not one of us. Who mm -hmm. you had on your podcast? Not one of us, mm. and everybody went crazy. Wow. It worked against him. But then he came on my show, and then he came back for two weeks, so it's cool. <laughs> no, it's no. cool. That it's was cool. hard. Yo, Mook, you, you nah, can show Mook up anytime, Hill. He's bro. Hill, man. Facts. Nah, 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 nah. That, um, yeah, Mook, 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 Mook was definitely top tier. I felt like he was like uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather at one point. And it, was he the first person to, like, to make sure like the bag got up, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think he asked I think for fifty thousand at once or something like he, that. He was, um, he's been there. Everybody yeah. asks for, for right. You you never know what somebody's getting though, mm -hmm. cause I hear people in their battles saying, ah, oh, I got fifteen thousand, mm -hmm. but I know otherwise. You know right. what I'm saying? But for Mook, Mook said he was sitting with um, Q-Tip, mm -hmm. and Q-Tip was like, yo, why you want to come over here and be just a regular with this? When you the king right. I agree. over here. Yeah. I agree with you. And he said that's when that's when it kinda hit him like, I'm the king? Okay, give me twenty thousand. Right. Give me thirty thousand. Give me forty thousand. Right. So when whenever Mook touches touches the stage, it's big money. Everybody right. pays attention. I, I agree with Q tip. I think that all, I think that most of you guys 
Um, and when I say most of you guys, you know, a lot of us, not, not just you guys, mm. a lot of us think the grass is greener somewhere else. On the like other side. like yeah. the thing is, like a lot of us will dominate hip hop and then go try to like make movies and be like, yo, you know what? Sometimes you should just stay with hip hop. You right. know what I'm saying? A lot of us, and a lot of us are kings in our own right and just always think the grass is greener Green somewhere else. Side. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And the ice is not colder anywhere else neither. Not only the grass ain't greener, the ice ain't colder. But, but for, for the people on the outside, we're usually thinking right. your grass is green. Right. Like because, Joe, Joe Buns came on the show and he said, I didn't touch a million dollars till I stopped rapping. Wow. And I was like, yeah. word? Wow. Throughout that whole time. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, Joe Buns was terrible at battle rapping. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. He, he didn't have the cadence. cadence. Friend, he had the friend. lyrics, but he didn't have the cadence. No, it's this performance. The yes. thing about it is his stage presence. Like, the thing is, Joe is such a cocky guy. Right. It's exactly what battle rap is, 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 is yeah, the cockiness. Is. Yeah. But he was not cocky on that stage. Nah. He was telling people to chill out and, and be quiet. And it was quiet. him being confident as a battle rapper on record. Like the thing on about records, battle rap, then, then, let me that just didn't say transcend. So, let me tell you something about battle rap. A battle rapper can say a half-ass bar, and then the crowd go crazy, and then the battle rapper can go, "Let me cook," and that shit is just—it's yeah. like, oh, because because Joe, he's cooking. Yo, Joe I, is me. I, I, I let me cook. cook, and you like, oh yeah. my god, yeah. he's cooking. Right. And when Joe was like, "This is my man," again, Joe was my friend. But when he was like, "Quiet down," I was like, "What?" <laughs> you're supposed to be cooking, nigga. You're supposed to be in the kitchen, nigga. Say yo, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I and, went too and, far. And you can't really kill a battle. Wrap a hole in a mic like a cigarette, anyway. Right. And that was the, that was where he lost for us. <coughs> right. When you picked up that mic, and then right. Hollow picked it you're up. You're not you're not doing what we do. Yeah. And then, remember he put it down and then yeah. Hollow picked it up. Flip that mic to your shirt. Right. Yeah. Hands free. Let's right. get it popping. Right. But when he picked up that mic, a lot of us was like, nah. Right. So, right. Yeah. But good for him because he's got a great profession after that. God damn it. God yeah. damn it. Big up with Joe. Don't you ever battle again, though. My, you my man, don't you ever battle again. And some uh, Gucci. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, living like, Joe, <laughs> he living different, bro. Yeah, you different, bro. He living different. He living different. He got the Pharrell hat on right <laughs> now, bro. Like, whoa. Yeah, he living different. He living different. Pick him up. I'm proud of him, man. Don't ever get back in the battle rap. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. You're my friend. Nah, he's a true MC. True MC. No, he's, yeah. he's a true MC. But the thing yeah. about it, that's back to me and Mav's point. Right. I think Royce is a true MC. I think Royce could actually... Survive, but I think that he does need the guidance of these people. Like, like it's a different thing altogether now. I believe, it evolved I believe, into its own I believe lane. That it yeah. If you're not in, living and breathing that, you can't just jump into it's, that. It's, 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 you can't just be nice on the mic and then almost be like, a battle I, I give you, no. I'll give you a perfect example. KRS One is one of the illest battle rappers in the world. I would not bet my money on Karis I don't know. against I think these Karis young guys. Could no, my do dude. Something. No, I'm being honest. I don't know. I feel like I don't think he got the disrespect you, in no, him. No, I don't think he could jump no, right you into gotta it. Be disrespectful. I, got, I got mad love for Karis. I feel Karis. like Karis won't get Karis might like, call me if he took a second to, to get me. ready for it. I think he could. You know, anytime, but anytime somebody touched their chest and said, I got mad <laughs> love for him. <laughs> You know, you know some other shit coming about him. KRS would get smoked, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, KRS would get smoked. I love him, man. I don't know. I just, I would like to see he, him. He had a problem with Nelly, I, man. I would he love to see him. him. See, I, I'm, I'm not saying him to jump right into it. I feel like if you prepped him, you said, look. That's what I'm saying. six months from now, this is what you're going to do, KRS. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like he could, he would get, he would, he would take that so serious mm. that he would be ready for it. And you know what? In reality, Royce might be able to sit down and figure it out on his own. I think he could, yeah. No, but, but I still as think battle he's rappers, a trainer. I we he's... don't even do that. Right. There's always somebody that you trust mm -hmm. that you're gonna perform with, that you're gonna spit your bars to. They're gonna be your proofreader. They're gonna be the ones like, yo, when you say that, you should turn this way or you should say that. There's always somebody there because you can't really rely on yourself. You're, you're relying on your perspective I agree. To, to agree with 2,000 people right. in the building. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I, so I it wasn't agree. no disrespect to Royce when I no, said I, that. No, I, I knew he that. He took it as that. No, I, but you know what? That was he's supposed to. Right. As a real MC, you're supposed to. But then, uh, as a person that loved battle rap, you have to go back and look at battle rap and say, you know what? I might not possess that part of it. Right. You know, I, I, think, I can come up with lyrics. I come up with bars. But I ain't going to lie to you. I don't think I have what it possessed to really hurt your feelings. Like, in your face. Like, I don't really think I have that. That's why I can never be a real battle rapper. I yeah. can battle. Yeah. But I couldn't be a real battle rapper because 
It's like, yo, I, like y'all niggas be talking about niggas' moms. Like, <laughs> it's, it's not just moms. <laughs> we talk about y'all talk about your dead, dead, dead niggas' dead, dead family niggas members. And it's dead, not even what, what, what you me, say. It's the delivery it, of it. It, it, as it well. depends on what your moral compass is. Right. Okay. Me, I'm not gonna talk about your dead homies. Right. Because I don't want you to talk about mine. Right. It might go left. Right. Right. Don't talk about my family. Right. Um, I had a battle with someone who 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 said my son's name. Wow. Almost stopped the battle. I walked away for a second, <laughs> took a breather, and I came back. I said, cool. After the battle was done, I was like, yo, take my son's name out this footage. And they was like, cool, we respect it. So for some people, right. you got, it depends on your moral compass. Right. You a snitch. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm going to have a right. field day with you. Right. If you, you, you did some grimy shit to your man or, right. or you beat women or whatever... I'm gonna have a field day with you. Do y'all but hire I'm not private going... detectives or something? How the Bro, fuck do y'all be not... knowing <laughs> everything? You know what? We, we started off. We started off going through the process. Oh. So I get a call one day. Mm-hmm. Yo, what's up? This uh, this is Beasley or this is ARP or this is Organic. I want you to battle this guy. Uh-huh. I'm like, okay, what's the bag? Okay, it's such and such, such and such. All right, cool. Hang up the phone. Think about it. What do I know about this dude? Is he hot enough? All right, cool. All right, cool. I'm signing the contract. I'm sending it back. Because it's like boxing. You know what you're getting. Right. There right. ain't no prize pot. You're not, yeah. We get contracts all that. you call bitches that he used to fuck with? No. <laughs> How does this happen? Let's, let's, they call him. What's good? What, yeah. We're we, we going to talk about all this. Right? right. So right. It, it's like boxing. Right. You know what you're getting paid. Right. You know what I mean? You come up with your own stipulations. If I don't want you to talk about a certain thing, right. I'll either call a battler or I have it put in a contract. If I want you to touch me, I have it put in a contract. Right. Doesn't guarantee it's not going to happen, right. but you know it's in a contract. Right. So after like no that, head button in boxing is not in the contract. Right. But head button. Right. Still some guidelines there to right. prevent it yeah. from going crazy. Right. Like right. I'm sure Cassidy and Arsenal, there was no touching, right. but you saw Arsenal right. grab up Cassidy right. like that. Right. You know what I mean? All right. All right, so cool. Once that flyer goes up that this battle is is happening, whoever doesn't like this person is going to reach out to you. <laughs> Family members that feel slighted is going to reach out to you. Baby mothers that can't stand that motherfucker is going to reach out to you. People he snitched on is going to reach out to you. People they did bad business with is going to reach out to How you. How you know it's credible information? You have to sort through it. Right, right. right. Because sometimes it could be a setup. Yeah, yeah. Like on uh, Kayshawn and DNA battle Averb and Hitman. Averb has a video where he's getting chased in a parking lot by somebody, but he had a, he had a cast on his arm, on his leg. Something was broken, uh-huh. so he, he wasn't trying to fight. He was trying to get away from the person. Uh-huh. Somebody hit up Kayshawn and said, yo, I'm the person that chased him. Mm-hmm. Bring me to the battle. <laughs> Kayshawn brings this guy to the battle. Mm-hmm. He introduces him. The dude laughs and walks over to Averb's side, and they all laugh at Kayshawn. Definitely ain't see that one. So then DNA had to freestyle like, I, yo, Kayshawn tried to tell you. <laughs> I didn't believe that motherfucker <laughs> from day one. I, yo, this shit is crazy. This shit is wow. crazy. Well, but we don't know if your off show is about celebrating people's lives. And you know what? You yeah. are of life. We need to celebrate. You are doing amazing things. Thank you, bro. We respect you. And we're going to keep saluting you. Salute. God damn Salute. <laughs> This is when it starts getting hot. Uh, we had Lamar Odom taking ooh. some shots, boy. Trust some, me. Oh, yeah? Some is an understatement, man. <coughs> Trust La- me. Lamar Odom has been a bar in battle rap many times. He has been involved, you said? Yeah. It, oh. the, the bad thing about battle rap is sometimes we cross the line. Yes, it does. Sometimes. I think all the time we cross the line. Like, wow. um, people that die, like the young lady that, that, that died in Chicago in the freezer. She was used in a bar, and that drove people in Chicago wow. Right. So the battle rapper had to do a video apologizing to everybody, like, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't, I, sometimes we get too thirsty for a bar. Yeah, not like Jesse Smollett. I mean, it's right. like the comedy world where sometimes, you know, Yeah, sometimes, too soon. sometimes the joke is too soon. Too soon, right. Or it just shouldn't be made. Right. Like, rest, Taste, in, peace, it's rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Right, yeah, that's not a bar. I had to put the tweet out. I was like, I don't want to hear no Kobe, the chopper down, and the chopper this. I don't want to hear none of those yeah, bars right. ever. 
Yeah. Leave that alone. Yeah. And everybody kind of retweeted and agreed. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure there's going to be somebody right. who's going to sure. say a Kobe right. ball. That's the that's the little issue with is that. Every, right? Anytime you ever felt like you went too far and you looked at your shit and was like, damn. Let me see. Too far? Or Nah. Maybe they, like, they deserve that shit. <laughs> Whoever it was, they deserved that shit, man. Okay. They deserved okay. that shit. Okay. I say, um, if I if I ever went too far, it was the battles that <laughs> turned into fights. That was too far. Wait, the battle started. That turned into fights. Physical, right? So it was Sirius Jones, um, Dose, <coughs> those not, guys, yeah. Now, Disaster was like the first time like I felt like, I felt like he was trying to math hot for you. Yeah, yeah. Is, 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 is that accurate that, to a that, certain that, extent? It's accurate, but then when his peoples got involved, it wasn't a math hot situation no more. Because he's from Toronto, correct? No, he's from Cali. Oh, he's from Cali. Oh, I, I've yeah. got to see. He's, he's a Lebanese battle rapper from right. California. Wow. And he hangs out with Grape Street Crips. Okay. But shout out to them. They recently <laughs> reached out to me. Okay. Worked some things out. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that situation was crazy. All right. So, so what was it? It, it? This is on his territory? This is on his territory. Okay. And he kind of baited me for it. Okay. He did a lot of blogs saying, Bath don't want to come to the West Coast. Right. I'm from Brooklyn. Right, exactly. I'm going. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. I went out there. Um, third round, I really touched his soul. Because when we did the, the total slaughter battles, mm -hmm. that's when all they put a whole bunch of battle rappers in the house. Kind of kind of try to make it a, a reality type thing in a competition. Mm -hmm. While we were in that house, I remember disaster sitting there saying sometimes he feels like he wants to commit suicide. And a lot of us were like, bro, you're a disaster. So that total slaughter, y'all really lived in the house together? We really lived in the house. I was the only dude with my own room. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody else is bunking. Bunk bed, Everybody sorry. else is bunking. <laughs> that was yeah. a fine print in your so, contract. <laughs> so, so, so Diz, you know, he, he was in a distraught situation in his life where he felt like he wasn't making, the fame wasn't adding up to his bank account. Mm. His fame was way higher than what he, the money he was making. He was really depressed about it, and he kind of opened up to us, and he was like, yo, I be feeling like I want to kill myself. Yeah. And I was like, damn, bro, like, right. go book some more battles, do right. something. Right. So when we battled, uh -huh. I brought that up. Wow. And that third round, you could, if you look at his face during that third round, it hurt him. I brought up him borrowing socks from Big T. <laughs> I brought up a whole bunch of shit. And I was like, you know, it, it's a shame. These are new socks or, or, or used <laughs> socks? It was used? They might have been used. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But it was somebody else's socks. I don't know. It was somebody else's cool, socks. Cool, cool, cool. You in a bad state when you got to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. borrow socks from yeah, somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, and you're not in jail. It's very true. But when I brought that up, I felt like that that hurt him a lot. Like in jail, it's good. Okay, you can borrow somebody's socks right. in jail. It's like fuck it, I ain't got nothing else to do. Right. I guess you. If you're not in jail, it's not. <laughs> you be home. It's not an honorable you're, thing. You're, 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 you're in Eminem's house. Okay, <laughs> Jesus, what is going on? <laughs> continue, continue. My bad, is asking. So when I brought that up, it, I felt like it really, mm. it really hurt him. Mm -hmm. So for his third round, he was flustered. He couldn't really get his his rhymes together, right. and he was like, "Oh, I should just punch you in the face right now." I'm like, do it. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. That was not a good idea. So he popped off. I was like, okay, all right, cool. And this is what Charlie Clips said he jumped in. He didn't. He never jumped in, bro. I got a rhyme he never where he jumped said he in. jumped in and held he math not, down. No, he didn't. <laughs> he grabbed my arm at a pivotal point. <laughs> well, I was about to delay the death blow down. He grabbed my shit. I was like, ah, oh, what are you doing, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I mean? So I'm fighting him, his whole entourage and shit, and, you know, shit just got crazy. But, but that's to show, like, a battle rap, they want to call it a sport. But like every other sport, sometimes get you're on control. court, emotions get involved. Right. Shit happens. Some bitch is gonna whip some titties out. Some nigga gonna jump on the court. <laughs> exactly. Kick, kick the ball. It, it, some, it, a cat gonna run through the field. You know what I mean? It's real shit. is gonna get involved. Yeah, sure. yeah, and, shit. and things happen. It's real shit. So, um, Nick Cannon 
put four battle rappers on a record. How did you feel about that? Would you have accepted that call if Nick Cannon called you and said, I got you on Wild and Out next season? You know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? He did? No. Okay. You remember that time I came to the studio okay. and I, I laid the hook for the Good Belt yep, game? Yes, yes, yes. That, that, that project and I was uh -huh. hanging out? Uh -huh. Who was in the studio with us? Yeah, Benzino? Benzino. Okay, I do remember that. Benzino met me years ago okay. Okay. in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And I spit, I spit a rhyme to him. He was like, yo, you're dope. Come to the studio tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Came to the studio, met up with him. He was thinking about putting me down with the crew. Oh, this is when he was on Eminem's ass? No, this okay. is before. Okay. This is right yeah, okay. before. Okay. On the cusp. Made men okay. time. On the okay. cusp, okay. right? Okay. So boom, mm -hmm. a month later, I get a call. Yo, Mav, come through. Yo, yo, you a lyrical monster. I want you to take this dude out. I'm like, who? Eminem. <laughs> he was his hitman. I'm like, he was his hitman. I was like, I was like, let me think about this. <laughs> the phone. I was like, I could bypass the shiny suits if I wanted to right now. Because <laughs> the shiny right suits was how you made it oh, yeah, at that yeah. per particular yeah, moment. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know what I mean? CNN, y'all yeah, was doing your thing. He was on the army suit, so he was hurting. Right. It, it, it wasn't a good sign. Listen, listen. It wasn't a good sign to be on, man. You, you were supposed oh, to go shiny suit. CNN was underground. You were supposed to go shiny suit. No, he's right. Yeah. And you were supposed to skip past the shiny suit. Puff, I can see where you're going. Puff, go Puff just made everybody feel like yeah. you want to win. Uh. All right. Don't want his shiny yeah. suit. Yeah. That's what it was. So I was like, I could bypass. And look like you're an astronaut. Because then Missy came and we was an astronaut. I was like, damn, they that's shiny and yeah, astronauts? It, 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 Jesus. That's just what okay. it was, bro. Go ahead. My bad. So mm -hmm. I was like, I could bypass that. All right. If I smoke Eminem right now? Mm -hmm. oh. Sat down. I wrote like 50 bars. Going at Marshall. Going hard. Mm -hmm. Hangman 3 made the beat. I show up to the studio, ready, eye of the tiger. Benzino's like, yo, listen to my comeback. I was like, yeah, come on. He played the Die Another Day, Debbie joint. I was like, all right, all right. It wasn't, you know what I mean? It wasn't that crazy, but I was like, damn, you got his mom's on there? That's crazy. And he was like, yo, listen to the joint my other man made. I was like, all right. He was like, yo, I got this group called Uno Dos dissing them in Spanish. <laughs> right. I'm like, what? What the fuck? I'm like, yo, son, what are you doing? And right. so, like, yeah, what yeah, are you it's doing? Way too much. Yeah. I'm gonna make a whole mixtape of people dissing him and drop it with the next issue of the source. I looked at my manager, I looked at my other man, I was like, yeah, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be a part of this, son. He was like, yo, how you expect them all? How you expect people to treat you like team if you don't act like it? I was like, nah, I'm not buying that. I'm cool. I left that alone. Left it alone. And then he did it. And I saw what happened. How it played out. Thank you, God, for giving me the wisdom not to do that shit. Thank you. But um, but yeah, that that was wild. That was super wild. Yeah, I understand. Well, big up Benzino, man. Real big up Benzino. Big up Benzino. Big up Benzino. But that battle rap shit is a different thing. Because, it's different. Because um, I also watched Voice of 5'9", and he said that he had a love for actual artists, so T. Greasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then T. Greasy, when it made a record with Eminem, and it, and it put, a, put a line... In the sand, like you know what I mean, like yeah, like dissing them. Yeah. So yeah. Is, is that? Um, I know, like I said, I know I'm bouncing around. Is, is it like that in battle rap, where you like you could sit around and say, you know what, I like this certain kid or I like this certain guy, but they get in the battle and they're like, so so so, no, fuck math, like two plus two equal four, yeah, yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Fuck math, like because 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 you are a name like that it, people want to yeah, say, right. the chase like, and, and it's a bar, like you know what I mean. If they mess up in in mathematics, they like, can say DNA is cool. Okay, but he be using you for he, a ball? He dissed me before. Get out of here. And I'm like, damn. Like, I was just at Charlie's yeah. house and you was there. <laughs> you did cheat code. Wait, 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 wait. He dissed you in the week y'all was hanging out? I don't, I'm, I'm trying to no, scare him. No, he, he, he dissed me around, like, maybe he was hanging out. Um, this is around some Madness 3, around the Series okay. Jones battle. And he just... He just took a shot. And I was like, 
What did he say? I what happened? I, what, he was like, sometimes I, I could solve this problem. I give mathematics. I was like, <laughs> word? It's like, word? I thought we was cool. See? But look what I just said. Sometimes it's like that. Mathematics. It's <laughs> like it's a ball. Yeah, it's a ball. It's, it's a, a ball. ball. It's a ball. <laughs> okay. But sometimes um, we'll be cool. Right. And we're just selling the fight. Mm-hmm. But there, there's always that unknown factor where, okay, we selling the fight. But on the day of the fight, what are you showing up with? Like how Who far did you, you talk to? to? Right. How, you, how far are you taking this? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like um, the battle between me and Hollow, when we did the face-off, he was saying a whole bunch of shit. That I was like, Hollow, when the fuck did that happen? Like, nah, nah nigga, I gave you, I gave you two ounces back in the days, and you ain't giving back. I was like, what? What are you talking about, bro? Like, this never happened, son. Who was the, who was the mediator of y'all face-off? Um, I can't remember her name. Okay. But it was there was a chick. There was yeah. it's, it was like, it's it, never it was the like same HBO person. Twenty four seven. It was it was it was yeah, intense. It was, it was intense. It was very intense. intense. You said a mediator, like you know, like uh, the person that's like yeah. you know, oh, like a referee yeah. type. Yeah. So, so when we battled, he used that for a bar. NYB ain't the first time you fucked up the pack, and I was like, that's why you said that. That's corny. See, that's just what I'm you know trying what to mean? say. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Is these bars really trying to hurt you, or is it trying to catch you off guard? Or both? Like, it's, like, 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 like right now, you yeah. still, like, you still, like, on I'm still guard. messed up. Like, yo, what the, <laughs> yeah. why so did you say that? Is those bars meant to be true? Because the thing about it, if I can say ninety percent of it being true, but that ten percent, that the punchline not being like, how much like, of it is wrestling? Yeah, I mean. You don't like, know, bro. You, you but really there is don't parallels know. to wrestling that, that no, it it seems like All right, all right so let me put it this way. Okay, Arsenal battle T Top. Arsenal pulls out footage of. Now, T Top, that's the big boy? Yeah. Okay. The, the, the Walmart. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he was in. He pulls out footage of T Top's baby moms not fair. Topping off another battle rapper. Wow, that's not fair. That's definitely not wrestling, right there. Right, <laughs> right. It's yeah. another kind of wrestling. I want to shoot the nigga. Right. Like, <laughs> I don't even like, like none of my yeah, baby moms. Like, right. like, that, but I still that's what like, 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 I don't like, like this bitch. But how the fuck what, you what, get what, that? Word, you doing this on stage? Bro? And this is hey. real footage of his right. real baby moms. So. Right? This is I, not- I, I can't confirm or deny anything. Can't confirm or deny. And then T Top. Brings up what happened to your man that used to be at all the battles. Oh, he snitched. Now you don't want to be seen in public with him. Mm. So it's like, ah, it, 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 you never know. But these two guys hanging around each other, you think they cool as shit. Right. Like, okay, it's a cool battle rap friendship but the gloves, and all yeah, that the gloves shit. Come off the gloves time, come yeah. off because you never you never know what to expect. Cause like with T Top and um well, I mean, that's that's the Walmart dude you said, right? Hey, that's the dude that that put on the Walmart. But vest. even that battle, I'm right. gonna be honest. I could tell they had friendship. I could right. tell they were friends. Like they were like in between, like smacking each other fives and shit like that. Right. That was like but, the first so time. Rum I- had no idea. Oh, d- he was about to pull out the Walmart, the Walmart. vest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, geez. it's like being in the CIA. You know what I mean? Like like me and T Top, we was cool. Oh. Get up on stage. He brought up Tax Stone. Uh, and I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, that's right. Um, I forgot. Was yeah, it? and we had a conversation yeah, about I that forgot. too. I forgot. No, you you yeah, you played a, a part in a lot of the, no. a lot of this stuff that's going on, bro. I forgot. I forgot. A no. lot, man. Damn, this is real shit. It's crazy. No, but no, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's so that. See, see, this is this is the real shit. Like you said, right. I, I, I see, see. You said, um, what's this? CIA. 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 It's because like being let me CIA. just tell you something. Let me just tell you something. If you ever notice anything that's crazy about the government, they always say CIA. Like they don't blame it on the FBI because you know who the FBI is. Right. You know who the DEA is. It's don't the CIA nobody know who the CIA around. is. <laughs> the CIA don't is sneaking around doing the crazy CIA. shit. So anytime anything fucked up happened in the government, they say CIA. Mm. And that's what it is with do you, battle Do rap. you remember what you told me about that tax zone situation? I told you to chill out. Relax. <laughs> I told you to relax. I definitely did. Definitely Here, did. Here's the funny thing. Mm-hmm. The night uh-huh. that the Troy Ave shit happened, wow. my man Five Mikes is opening up for T.I. Mm. I don't That's know the if same you ever concert. met Five, type, five uh, Mikes. I don't, I don't he be around T.I., he be in the okay. show and all that. Okay. He, he's from Coney Island, there. he got teardrops and all that. Okay. And I said, I had a battle coming up, so I was like, yo, I'm going to fall back. i get with you later, bro. Right. I didn't go. 
Right. Troy goes through him. Right. He brings Banger. Banger was supposed to be going to a yacht party, an all yeah, white party. All white party, I remember that. And, that. you know, whatever happened, happened. Right. right. And Banger's girlfriend is my baby mom's best friend. So I'm sitting in the crib trying to put together these bars, and I walk into the next room. My baby mom's on the phone crying. Wow. And I'm like, what happened? Yo, they shot banger. We got go to we gotta go to the city right now. I go to the city. God bless. I get there, and I find out everything that happened. Right. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. God bless. You, you know what the shame is about it all? Math, and I, I, I apologize for changing the subject a little bit, but still staying yeah. on the subject. The thing about it is that is our first actual online crime, and what I mean by that is it all derived derived from, from a tweet. It derived, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna be one million percent honest. And Mr. Lee, can you pour another shot? I'll be one million percent honest. I really didn't believe either side. I really didn't believe it would go there because of what it derived from. Right. It derived from a tweet. And I just recollected Fab and Ray J's tweets. So I that's what I compared it to. I was like, this is gonna end up the same way. Cause Fab and Ray J kind of like worked their thing out. You know it wasn't what I'm saying? The same. It was not the same. It was not the same. So um I, the, again, I you know, the, to the, every- thing, the thing that really hits me. Before I started this podcast, uh-huh. I had a dream about tax. Wow. And the dream, it was like a warning. Like, you from Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. He from Brooklyn. There's a certain stigma that comes along with us. If you if you outside right. like that, right? Where you're not going to take no shit. Right. You ready for whatever. Right. The dream was kind of telling me, don't make the same mistake. Don't get so involved right. in in what you're doing to the point where you're gonna insult somebody and then have to protect yourself mm. or have to be someplace mm. a certain way. Mm. You dig right. what I'm saying? Right. And I feel like that's what happened. <laughs> Tax had a very strong voice. Mm-hmm. He could have never beefed with nobody mm-hmm. and probably still been successful. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. But, but you know what the thing about was was when I called you was the same reason like sometimes I call Fat Joe and Fat Joe if if he have a problem Fat Joe would be like this, this dude said I'm pussy I'm like yo Fat Joe there's <laughs> no one in the world that's gonna believe you're pussy right like just let that guy say you pussy and then Leave and him alone. it was pretty much the same right. shit I had to tell you it was just like math like you're on document not right. being pussy <laughs> like, and okay. you, you saw me at the Barclays and I was like. I was, he was like, like, yo, just leave that alone. Just bro. leave it alone, leave bro. Alone. Just leave it alone. Because sometimes you got to be the bigger man even when you don't. But that's what makes you be the bigger man even right. when, you, when you won't. God damn it. <laughs> and God bless, God bless, God bless them. And God bless everything. Rest in peace, banger. God, rest God, peace God, banger. Rest in peace, banger. But you know what, Matt? You was designed and you was meant for a different cause. And that's why we're here right now. We're here to, to represent because your transition has been so prolific and it's been ex- expiring. Like like I, I said, like I, I literally, like I said, I literally told Murder Mook, your show, but not as good as you applied it. Right. Like with the barbershop act. Like I told you, I got on the phone. I said, everything about your shit is exactly what I want. Want Like I want it to be in an everyday format right. because, you know, I'm Puerto Rican. Tomorrow, my hair is going to need to be cut again. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go back to the barbershop. Diablo V, my barber's right there. Look at that. He crowd, <laughs> God damn it. He the craziest nigga here. My barber's the craziest nigga here, but guess what? <laughs> He got bars. 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 He got
Did y'all battle once? Yeah, bat we battled once. But when I say 99.99% uh -huh. of people thought that Hollow was gonna drag me yeah. somehow. And this is after and Hollow beat Loaded Lux? Because who did Hollow? This is way after that. This is oh, way after okay. that. Okay, because that's when Hollow was the man. Right. Like after the he battled, he battled Tay Rock, and then I believe I'm, I was the next battle. Okay, but. But I, because I, I remember this when Holland was the man. Right. Like, Loaded Lux was that nigga. Like, Loaded Lux, he was Malcolm X kicking bars. I felt like he had his suits on and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. And then Hollow, like, beat him, and then everybody want Hollow. But then right. everyone called Hollow a drug addict. But <laughs> we toasting that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, 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 that's my friend. I was my friend too. Nah, 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 no, I, know I was this, trying I know to change the subject. But it just didn't look good. It wasn't look good. I'm sorry, Holly. That's my thing. You know what's funny? We got a mutual friend, um, Maddock. Mm -hmm. okay. He told me he was at the crib yeah, with y'all yes. all the way out there. I fuck with y'all. Salud, salud, salud. Salud, salud, salud. Salud, man. Salud, salud. I felt like my shot was big pause. Was deeper than both of y'all's right now. Yeah, it was a little heavier. It was a little heavier. What, what's the, your favorite battle you're not involved in? Favorite battle I'm not involved in? That's a great question. To this day, I got to give it up to the classic, Loaded Lux and Calico. That was just the battle that the whole world was watching. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I had a great third round with T-Rex that was like, oh, six million views in two days. Cool, but that loaded luck shit became like the Bible to a lot of people. Right. It became like I thought a, you would say loaded lux and murder mook. Nah, 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 nah. Which one? The second one. Nah. The second one when it was all the hype. When Lux got smoked. Yeah, I, th I thought that. I'm sorry. Ah, he got 30, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't I, like 30. I forgot that expression. 30? No, a 30. I don't know what Three that means. Oh, okay. oh 30. 30. Oh, 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 I did 30. not know. He got 30. 30. Okay. He got 30. Okay, well, well. Yeah. And I don't know who won the coin toys, but if, if, he, if he won the coin toys on that, then yeah, he got 40. How about when Mook battled Ali and Solomon, right? Mm hmm. I felt like Mook hit him with some shit. He, he name dropped me in that, too. Like, yeah. I'm an outsider looking at. Right. But when he brought up his bitches and saying the problems that Iron Solomon was having with his bitches. You mean the one ball? Yeah, that was crazy. He said he had one ball. He, he revealed that he had one ball. <laughs> yeah, okay. He himself revealed it. Y'all sitting there like that's normal shit. That's not normal shit. The motherfucker has one ball. I'm talking about one ball oh, down what? here. He has one ball. I got two and a half. Just in we case y'all want to know. That's, 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 we, that's we not normal either. That's not normal either, but that, that's no. cojones, baby. No. No. Oh, high five, baby. High five. Nah, that's gross. That's, you have a gross. You know, you know, you know what's out. funny? I didn't know how serious that was until I got Solomon on the show. Okay. And I asked him about it. Okay, tell me. And his response was not... Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> it was more like, yeah, it's funny how things get out there. Listen, I was like, <laughs> listen, I, I was like yo, he really got one ball, sir. You really got one I ball, see, I only seen about 12 minutes when you had him on, right? <laughs> but I also saw that part where he said, he was like, and he didn't definitively say, you know, that was some battle rap shit. Like, you're supposed to immediately you're say... You're supposed to just yeah. clear the slate. Right. <laughs> Clean it like, nah, and nah. He, 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 talking real real shit. he didn't <laughs> say it. So it was like, damn, I'm sitting there now for the rest of the interview, yeah. like... This nigga got, got one ball. ball. <laughs> got one ball. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but what are y'all... Um. I know I asked this earlier with the private investigator, yeah. but how the... Like, Jesus. Like, who the fuck is going to come and tell you, listen, I sucked his one ball. Like, because yeah, uh, uh, there's only yeah. one way to know you got one ball, right? Like, again, someone had to be down there. Mook like somehow met a female who <laughs> dated him. <laughs> right, 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 right. And let, let him know, yeah. Uh, but how does he even confirm that information? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. But 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 as a testament to like what battle rap is. No pun allowed. Yeah, testament. No testament. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. Bars. That's bars. <laughs> um, Solomon coming back. Mm. Charlie Clips tried to do the same thing. Didn't work. Oh, wait, 
I didn't, he tried I, to talk about the one ball. Oh, thing. the one ball. It didn't work. Yeah. It didn't work. But like uh-huh. battle rap, you you leave it. You're supposed to leave it all on the stage, and that's what we do. We walk right. out there, and it's like you're gonna say what you're gonna say. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Right. In my imagination, for the past two months, I've been imagining you saying the worst shit in the world to me. You ready for it? Right. And I just thought up, what can beat that? Right. So go ahead, let's go. Like, like, like there's battle rap, right? Um, I see one dude, like he he battled Charlie Clips, and all he was talking about was ice cream and cake. He kept calling Charlie Clips a fat nigga. Right. <laughs> and he just kept saying, you know, the ice cream is that, going to... That's the a ice friendly cream battle. in the cones. That's a, that's a and, friendly battle. And then he was like, all, all this crazy shit. Like, that's like, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. We, we kind of got away from something. Okay, I don't want to get away. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. The Nick Cannon situation. Let's bring yeah, him back. Yeah, yeah, he right. called you, for, he called you to get yep. this Eminem, too? No, he didn't. Okay. He didn't, and if he did, I would I would have declined. Okay, I would have declined. But from a battle rap standpoint, me and Moot, Moot came on that on that episode around the time that 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 shit dropped. Okay, and I think Hitman Holla, yo Hitman, holla at me, man. You know we we cool, bro. Like we was just, you know, we was just joking, bro. Like that's the dark skin nigga, right? Hitman yeah. Holla? Okay. But we went off on that. We was like. That's a misrepresentation of what we do. Oh, you talking about um, of the Eminem? That diss um, record, the, 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 that diss record was not. No, bro. Yeah. No, they should have ghost no. wrote for him. They should have ghost wrote for they, him. Or, not, not, or not even ghost it. wrote for him. But like, we are the battle rappers. The same way that Benzino kind of introduced it to me. Like, yo, you're a lyrical killer. Right. Come kill this guy. And right. I wrote fifty bars. Right. That's what their situation should have been. Right. Now Eminem loves battle rap. Right. Just the fact that he, he shouted so out. That's where he comes from. He must have heard that record. It, like, so went, like what the fuck? Like I watch right. you guys. Right. Like this is what you come up with. Right. And I, we were dip- disappointed too. Right. So at some point during the show, I ended up like talking into the trash can to to him. Like yo, that's that's ain't it. <laughs> right. It got crazy. But we wasn't <laughs> feeling that. Okay. We wasn't feeling that. No regular no. niggas wasn't feeling it neither. Right. Because we felt like. I mean, Nick. At the end of the day, the only thing Nick is my man. I really, I really like Nick. Right. To say the truth, but the only thing that's taking it personal is you. Right. Like I don't think Eminem is taking it personal. And I didn't like the fact that my peers yeah. are riding for your baby moms. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? That's hard. Like they not riding for like okay, let, let let's get them. The whole reason <laughs> is behind something he probably said about your baby bombs. Right. That's very true. So, like, nah, I, didn't, I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling that at all. Very true. His baby bombs is Mariah Carey. Right. Yes. And, I, and I agreed with you as far as the vest. He should not wear the vest. He should not wear the vest. He should not wear the vest. No, no, no one. It's not that serious. No one really wants to be for yeah, you, no, Nick. Nobody Come wants on, to stop. Kill you gotta you. relax. Nobody you gotta relax. Wanna kill we love you, Nick. We love you, bro. We love you, bro. Now, now Wild Out was wonderful. I love that shit. Though. Now, what's 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 the, um, uh, let's just, just finish up the Tiger, but I'll, I'll do some little Wayne shit. I'm taking a picture before that. Okay. Tiger. All yeah. right. Cool. Um. So, what what is the criticism you have received of of doing the podcast? Um. Recently, mm-hmm. I did an interview with T Rex. Mm-hmm. T Rex revealed that um, I did a battle in Vegas on Smack. Mm-hmm. He revealed that the guys from Cali I had a beef I had beef with. Uh-huh. Beasley knew a month ahead that they was gonna be there, and he said nothing to me. Wow. So when I heard this on the show, this it's is like, disaster it's like, people's or yeah, this other it, people? It's like it's like somebody sitting across from you and saying, "Yeah, um, yeah. rest in peace." Uh-huh. Prodigy said this about you in the book, uh-huh. and you're finding out for uh-huh. the first time uh-huh. when a camera's on you. And who is telling this to you again? T-Rex. T-Rex, okay. Because T-Rex, he has an association right. with uh. those people. Right. So I found this out on a show. On your show. And I kind of got emotional for a second, and I lashed out about a situation that me and Beasley had. Mm-hmm. And I edited it. I edited out the footage because I don't want to be messy. Right. The biggest backlash was... Why did you edit it? 
why did you not say how you felt? I don't, I don't think, I don't know if you guys ever had a, a show where you said something and you felt like, you know what? I probably shouldn't have said that. I've Take had a that couple. Out. Take that out. I've left them, but I had a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you left it. You left it. I, you know why I left it, man? And why? please forget, remember everything you're saying. Please, right. because I don't want me to feel like I'm cutting it off. Right. But the thing is, it would be unfair to Floyd Mayweather. It would be unfair to Lil Wayne if I edited it. Now, if it's something irresponsible, something I'm talking about a person's child, children or something right. like that, or something where I just outright, like, just did something wrong right. or the situation was wrong, then I, I feel responsible to edit that. Right. But if it's just bullshit and then we just talking, the thing about it It wasn't is, bullshit, though. Okay, then... then that, that was the problem. If it was something that could hurt somebody... Yes. You, all right, then, then, then and, I respect and, and, that. I, and I knew it would be interpreted in a certain but way. But what you should do is you should reiterate it in a calm manner. Because you know why? You probably said it in, the, in, in, you know, in a rage. So right. that's why sometimes if a person would hit me with the same thing, I'll act like they don't bother me, but I'll take two or three days or four days or maybe even five podcasts to yeah. actually, rec- to, 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 to actually you know, um, I, I'll say something. Just like Tyler, the creator, I'm sorry. Right. Um, Tyler, the creator, six months ago offended me. What did he do? He just acted like a dick. And he came on the show and I no, 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 no. He didn't come on the show. He's never yeah. come on the show and yeah. he's not invited. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, yeah. in retrospect, because I don't have no beef with him and I don't have nothing to. And he, he went on his Instagram, said he didn't have no beef with me. But he also said the only records he ever heard is from me and Pharrell. And I know that was a shot, too. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you didn't hear the worry part. I wanted to go in so bad, but it's, it's okay. Yo, you don't understand. It's, it's okay. Where's my girl at? But. Hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Yeah, that's what he said. He, he, he said that. Okay, my shot glass? Okay, shit. All right, cool. Oh, we getting more shots? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, uh, we do, uh, just do a little bit more, put a little bit of Tiger in each one, and then put a little bit of Bombay. Let me tell you something. Let's do the Bombay. But let me finish, right? So, right. Um, goddamn, I'm looking good? I'm looking good. So what was I saying? So what I'm trying to say is, when Tyler offended me, right. what it was was... Um, I said it uh, on um, the same podcast I shouted you out on Adam Twenty Two. Okay. No jumper. No, no jumper. jumper. So yeah. um, shout out to Adam. When I seen yeah. Tyler, I just you know I just naturally wanted to um, you know I was like yo let me take a flick. He got like dick whatever whatever whatever. Moving on, moving on. All right. What it was was I when I actually brung up the actual offensive. Oh, you you're taking <gasps> Colombian white. It was six months later. So most people would say, that was six months ago. Like, yeah. Like, why would you even do that? And what I was saying was, I was uh, bringing up a, a, a thing of why I don't extend my hand to new artists sometimes. Sometimes when I extend my hand to new artists, like... There's a cockiness. I don't... No, no, no. On their behalf. Right. Sometimes on their behalf. Right. The thing about it is... I want, I want to run artist development. I really want to help. Like, yo, Matt, you know how many times I called you and said, yo, don't do that, man. Yeah. Yo, but I don't get nothing out of that. You know what I get out of that? It's this. It's just right. me, us being real real right. people with each other. I was going right. to say real niggas, but fuck niggas. Real people with each other. Right. And I want to spread that. So sometimes when I see a young artist and I say to them, yo, homie, and they look at me like, and that's the, that's the reason why I knew I had to keep getting money. Because, because I realized if I wasn't getting as much money as these little motherfuckers, they wouldn't even look my way. Wait. Like, I had to pull up in the Maybach, too. I had to pull up in what the fuck they driving in, too. They um, wouldn't um, even unfortunately, listen. that's what it is. They so. won't even listen to me. But... No, I'm going to tell you something. Yes, please. Let's say the shot first when, or after the shot? No. When Before N-O-R-E the- drop. These, these niggas don't know that, man. Let's do this. This is bomb. This is bomb, boo. How the fuck you pronounce Lil Wayne shit? Bumble. 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 I don't know about the crime level <laughs> oh, yeah. in, in, in everybody else's life, oh, but yeah. in my life. <laughs> Salute. Salute, man. Cheers. God damn it. My girl know. This is a world of difference, right? Different shots. Whenever, yo, you know Nori, mm-hmm. type of nigga, stay real truck. I ain't the type to fight a nigga, just blaze you up. What the fuck? All y'all niggas want to say what, what? All y'all halfway thugs look at halfway butt. If you ain't with bust the bust, then shut the fuck up. Niggas are snakes. In other words, just like jigs. And yo, I sell raps. You used to sell crack on crazy. Yo, son! Good son! 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 You ever 
seen the Queens flip joints when he in the car that yeah. he's wilding? Yeah, I do. I, I do. do that to my girl, son. <laughs> I wild on her when that verse is playing, son. Big up the Queens flip. Um, I've seen, um, it's a lot, of, a lot of classic shit, Queens flip. Um, I want to big up to all podcasts because yeah. uh, I, I want to start it off with bigging up your podcast again. Uh, cause, Appreciate it. Because if I could big up you up behind your back, and if that's like a, if I talk behind you behind your back, I should be able to talk behind you in front of your face. face so if right. I can talk behind you behind your back, whether it's good or bad, I want to talk behind you um, in your face. Right. And like that's I what said, family do. I will reiterate. I really appreciate me being able to take 45 minutes to an hour tour, and I'll break your shit up because some of your shit is three hours, yeah, some of your shit is hour bro. 28, some we of your shit is three hours. whatever. Just like us. And I really would sit there and I'd be like, 45 minutes, I would press pause, go in, do whatever I got to do, walk the fuck out, press pause again, and just like do it. So I really want to big you up. I really want to uh, uh, say what you're doing is a phenomenal job. Thank you, bro. It's covering your, your, your portion of hip hop and you're doing it so well. Well, you know what you told me years ago? Please tell me what I told you, because I, I, I know I say some fly shit. <laughs> I'm on the phone with Nori, like, Nori, what can I do, man? Like, I want to break through the... He was like, in order... And it might not make sense to y'all. Uh -huh. In order for Math Hoffa to beat Math Hoffa, mm. he has to do something bigger than Math Hoffa. Damn, I said that? You said that Holy to me. Holy shit, I'm, I'm the orca I'm the orca Because I mean that right oh, now. And I was like, I was like, no, I swear to God, I'm saying the same shit to him right I was, now. I was stuck. Like, like a young Jedi talking to Yoda like, what's bigger than Math? You figured it out. Something for the culture. You figured Something it out. Something not about me. Yep. Something about bigger giving information to, yeah. to the people that's coming up and the people that's already been here singing their praises, something that 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 everybody is gonna appreciate. It's how you get to heaven. It's bigger than me, not just making it about me. Yep. No, it's and that's true. what you did. It's how you get to heaven. Let me just tell you something. It's crazy. You said you, that before you, you made this heaven. podcast. Yeah, listen, you get to heaven and by this doing something. This is our four-year anniversary this month. Yeah, this that's is four-year anniversary. Four but four you years. get to heaven by yeah. doing I can't wait something my first for year. people who could never do something for you. And that's what you're doing with the podcast. And I'm just being honest. I'm gonna reiterate what I said because. That's what you're doing. You're doing something for people that there's this like when um a couple of battles I went to, I haven't been to a lot, right? Because mm -hmm. I just like fights. I don't like going to fights. I like to watch the fights on pay-per-view because right. I like the pause button. Because I'm a foul nigga, I take a lot of pee pee's. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm about to take a pee-pee right now. So um, so what I'm trying to say is, what the fuck was I trying to say? <laughs> I was so into that. What was I saying? Like, that last shot got you. You don't like going to the to the actual battle. I know before or that. Fight. Oh man, you lost me at that point. <laughs> so, so, so bigger than you. That's what right, I'm trying to say. Right, bigger than you. Bigger yeah. than you. So the thing about it is, the the way the coverage of battle rap because battle rap is a long fucking process. Yeah, it is. Right? Y'all niggas be like, two minute rounds, that should be 17. It's a whole nother world. I'm like, nigga, what type of two minutes are y'all talking about, my nigga? <laughs> but, but you know, here's the funny part. <laughs> Battle rap and hip hop is hand in hand. Yeah, it is. And one of, one of my points that I try to push with the podcast mm. is like, there's no separation. Mm. It's hip hop, battle rap, same thing. Right. No, I, Boy, I agree. Absolutely. You go to hip hop. You go to the Philippines. Yeah. The biggest artist in the Philippines battle. Wow. There's 10,000 people in attendance. Wow. The biggest artist in Russia battle. In Peru, right, Boris? In Peru, too, when we went to Peru. And Does he you, wrestle after he battles? Look, yeah. we started it. We started it. We started battle rap, hip hop, and all that. Yeah. Their battles get like 30 million views. And they got it from us. Wow. So another point that I want to make with the podcast is like I have somebody like a Joe Buttons, Royce the Five Nine. Right. It's no difference. You probably been in the and, studio Eminem watching battles. Will come. Let me tell you something. Eminem will come. I, I listen. Eminem will come. I'm gonna oh, be honest. Oh man, that's like that's like that's like my dream guest, bro. No, no, no. That's Eminem. Like my dream let, guess, me bro. let me tell you something. I'm gonna be honest with you. Eminem. I can see Eminem coming to your podcast yeah. prior to us because. You know, we still smoke, we still drink, and uh, I can see, you know, the, the, the drink, how y'all drink? We drink, we drink on the Y'all drink, but y'all drink on the low. Y'all drink, <laughs> drink with a, a clear cup, and it's and y'all stay to the point. See, right. we, we want to get fucked up. Like, no, like, no, no, Royce, we, Royce was, um, 
before the Royce interview started, uh-huh. I was like, yo, you got a problem with somebody drinking no, in front of you? Care. He was like, nah, I've been on drink champs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twice now. Twice, 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 twice. He said, no, you don't give a fuck. You're going to drink yeah. it. <laughs> no, I was this like, time, right. At this time, to tell you the truth, ironically, I didn't drink. Or Royce. Mm. You don't remember? Oh, yeah, you didn't drink. Because right, you yeah. looked confused just no, now. No, no, no. I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, oh, no, yeah you I didn't drink. drink. I always feel like that's helping people. If they got that's a, you know what? No, I don't that's, feel like I, it's helping people. You don't think it's helping? No, I no, don't. No, no, it's that not helping. No, 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 yes. no, 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 no. Everybody me. has an individual problem. Right, right. You, did you, what I'm you saying? know what, Matt? You're right. It wasn't for him that day. It was for me that day. Right. I was already. Oh, you mean on him the... not drinking? Yeah, yes, that him not day, drinking. Oh, I mean, fr- Royce was amazing of... that he doesn't drink. Right. A recovering addict. But Royce, yeah, he recovered. The day that we had Royce again on the second day, it was my ten days. Being vegetarian and I just didn't want to. I, I'm ten days no meat pause. What? I don't know. Yeah, ten days. Yeah, t- no you still meat. Still on it? Uh, I flipped up last week. My, my it was my son's birthday I'm though. I'm flipping up tonight. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> All right. Listen, cool. I slept up uh, on my son's birthday and Benny Hanna's. I had with 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 the black brother that was the chef. He said his name was Black and Knees, <laughs> and, and he he put peanut butter on my shrimp. And Weird. it oh, was sure. garlic. It was garlic. Uh, uh, garlic butter. And I'm not gonna lie. I gained four pounds that night. <laughs> Jesus, because I, you know, you go for ten days and no, no meat, and then yeah. just fish. So, um, but yeah, I, I feel more. That's alive. why I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm pescatarian right now. Oh, yeah, pe- he, he pescatarian for seventeen yeah. years. Seventeen years? Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not gonna make it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, you gonna you go, go back to chicken? Yeah, you gonna go back day. to chicken? No. Or? If, I, if I if I'm a cheat, I'm a cheat for steak. Steak, okay, yes. Oh, okay, yes. All right, yeah. See, I don't fuck with red meat at all. So, at all, at all. Yeah, steak. I used to eat steak, and I see. I was in DFY, and um, when I ate steak, uh, this is a famous story, at least in my world, right? In my little circumference. Well, I, I had, I used to eat steak, and I used to go on the bang all the time in the DFY. So it was this dude. I think his thing was, I forget, I forget. He's a Muslim brother, yeah. but he called me a savage, and I couldn't believe. Anybody could call me a savage, and I didn't eat pork, because that's to me, if you eat pork, you're a savage. You're savage, right. That's it. But when he said savage, I was like, yo, brother, I wanted to snuff him, but I couldn't because, you know, we used to do the, we used to do the joint. Right. So I was like, I was trying to be nice to him because I was saying, in the morning, I'm spitting on this nigga. And, and, <laughs> right. eating so I'm trying right. to be like kind of nice to him because yeah. I'm like, you call me a savage. Like, yeah. there's no giving back for that. And he said to me, like a nice, he said, brother, I want you to do me one thing. When you get out of here, I want you to not eat um, beef for those couple of days. So I did. I went and I didn't eat beef. And I How'd was, you feel? I was great because I was the only black Puerto Rican that can play handball and basketball. There's not niggas in the yard. <laughs> this, this is very true. Look, look, that's why y'all laughing because y'all know this is true. There's not niggas in the yard who do both. You, you got to make your pick. You got to either play handball you definitely gotta pick. or basketball. Right. I was a hand basketball. I could do both. Yeah. And then I didn't have a fight. And then two days later, they had a cheeseburger that came out on the menu. And, you and ate I it? ate it, and I had a fight. fight. And, the, and the brother, as soon as I got to the bing again, the brother said, I bet you you ate beef again. And from that moment forward, I have never ate red meat again. You know in what's my life. crazy? Yeah. Nights that I, I have a cheat night. You get it violent. <laughs> like the you last time, stressed. the last time I had a cheat night, <laughs> I choked some guy out <laughs> for my girl. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, wait. And he didn't even. I don't feel like he deserved it. <laughs> wait a minute, man. Where he, are we going? He said some crazy shit. <laughs> okay. And then you know I was like, yo, you gotta apologize, brother. Okay. And he was like, okay, I'm apologize. But then he left and he didn't apologize. Mm. So I saw him talking to the boys. I walked past him. I stood in the doorway, waiting for him to walk down the block, follow him around the corner, and I choked the shit out of this motherfucker. Uh-huh. But I feel like it was because I ate. Because, hear him, him me out, I'm so sorry. In right. order to be... No, 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 I have to. I have no, to. No, no, no. In order to. to think like an animal, sometimes you need an animal a part of you. But let me just tell you something. I was vegan for six months, and I also hated that. <laughs> I'm gonna just right. tell you why. Right. Yeah, that I'm shit gets you, you angry too. Um, no, I know it gets you angry in between meals. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I am from New York City. I cannot be a vegan. Yeah, let me I just tell I you don't something. know if I could do vegan either. Let me just tell you something. Cheese is like a major factor. Yeah, Listen, let me just tell you something. When you are vegan, right, you have no reason to be mad. Hear me out. 
You don't I'm have an animal instinct. That's you said I, I was a vegan in Sobe Live. You said SOBs earlier. Right. Sobe Live was SOBs of out here. I walked through Sobe Live one day, nigga stepped on my foot and I said, How are you doing, sir? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> My, no, I swear to God. I was, let, me, let me just tell you something. Let me tell you how fucked up I was as a vegan. Let me just tell you how fucked up. made you a hippie fucking Gandhi guy? Let me tell you how fucked up I was as a vegan. Right? Uh, first of all, a bee stung me and the bee just walked away. The bee didn't even like, like, cause, cause I was so pure. You don't even kill I was so pure. So here, hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out, nigga. Hit me out. Hit me out, nigga. You knew me back then. Yeah. <laughs> I went to New York City. This is how, this is how much vegan was fucking me up. I went to New York. I was out here like six, eight months. I was just out here just eating motherfucking Ital. What did Rasta say? Ital. 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 I'm eating porridge. E- everything I eat. I'm eating porridge. <laughs> porridge. Porridge, you know. Porridge. With Red Riding Hood and them niggas. <laughs> Cornmeal. <laughs> Red Riding Hood. You know, Red Hot that's what they had porridge. You don't remember? They blew the house down. Niggas, the three, the three, the three little pigs blew the house down with porridge. <laughs> Red Riding Hood? <laughs> yeah, niggas, beat your, beat your goons. Beat your goons. Beat your goons. So I go to New York. Listen, this, 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 how, this is how much vegan had me fucked up, right? I couldn't get mad for nothing. Like, I just couldn't get mad. Like, I just really, like, it was just too jolly. Ah, hey, hey, ah. hey, hey. So I go in the club. I think it was the China Club. Right. And I got all my niggas. All my niggas is in the club waiting for me. So I walk in. I'm like, what's good, nigga? Why are you so happy? This Nobody how, was happy with niggas you. Niggas didn't give me a five. Niggas ain't give me a big Yo, hog. I, I, I'll be honest with you, bro. When you change your diet, <laughs> yeah, yeah. niggas be looking at you like, yeah. <laughs> what's your problem? And, and you start to notice, like, yeah. everybody's mad. <laughs> yes, everybody. Why is everybody mad? <laughs> and I feel so joyful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this. Yo, oh. it, it, it takes the edge off of you. Yeah. It takes yeah, the I edge off of you. I literally had to walk to the bathroom. Put water on my face and then walk outside and be mad. Like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Niggas like, all right, there you go, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I want to take BBs. I got to keep it going. Come on. Put, put down the mic. The mic put down the mic? Yeah. All right, good, good. I, I took the long way. That's, that's not vinyl. Y'all niggas got vinyl, vinyl man. man. Y'all niggas is trying oh, to step man. it up. I seen Jay-Z on vinyl the other day. Shit is crazy. All right, so let's talk MCs. MCs. So what MCs you listening to before you start... Battle rapping. Before I start battle rapping? Or that could inspire that in you. Mm. See, there's a difference in my situation. I'm not listening to rappers. Okay. Like people that rap on beat. Who are you listening to? If I am, I'm listening to M, somebody from Griselda, Styles so P. He's on now. The Locks. The minute you say Griselda, you're talking about right. currently. I'm talking about... When you was that kid and you saw Buckshot, who, who was that, I listening that to time, at that time? Who were you listening to? I was listening to The Locks, CNN, um, Eminem. Uh, who else? Scarface. Because a lot of battle rapping is telling a story. Right. No, Scarface is one of the best like, to ever do it. Bow down to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's what it is. And for me, I'm a tell a story, tell a story type of, type of dude. Right. I'll find out a, something about you, put that shit in the story story form, and fuck your whole life up. You know what I mean? Um, who else? By the way, this is the fastest pisser in the world. Right, he will win that. a battle piss. I, I don't think you went to the bathroom. Every battle piss. I don't think you went win. to the bathroom, bro. No, listen. If I, I don't could think get... you went to the bathroom. I think there's a puddle yeah. right behind that curtain. Nah, <laughs> he can <laughs> tell you, man. <laughs> nah, he pisses like a, he, with his finger. I think. You know why I hold it so long? Because you know why you take two or three pisses in between. But, but, so I just hold but, my but shit so long. But to be honest, yeah. like battle rap would not exist if it wasn't for '90s hip hop. Mm. 90s hip hop was like and Def, so Def Comedy Jam cuz I feel like the funnier you are sometimes you could win yeah, a there battle there has to be a no, comedy element no, to it no no you saying Def Comedy Jam I say Uptown Comedy Club mm. 
Okay. Well, same shit. Same from same same thing. Because but no, you tell us. You tell a whack like, snap. You got the goal. You got to go. Shit? Yeah, yeah, but, 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 shit? but if you tell a good, all right. Let me tell you something. That after twenty, almost twenty years of of analyzation. Right. I mean, oh, okay. I thought, I thought you was doing Bombay. Okay. Um, <laughs> when people analyze the Jay Z and the Nas battle, right? People always give it to Nas because Nas ranked. And I'll tell you why. Nas got dirty. Right. He got. Di- I'm from Brooklyn. Right. My heart broke when I heard Ether jumped in the garbage can head first. <laughs> <laughs> it was over. Right. It was like, right. hey, it is what it is, buddy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ether was so, I'm not just going, I'm going to take facts right. and then I'm going to pair them right. with whatever funny shit I want to say about you. You right. 36 in the karate class? Right. Tabo, oh, child, work it out. Like, right. I use that on That's Sirius Jones. That's battle shit, right? Facts. Okay. Okay. I use that, you 36 in the karate class? Yeah. Tabo, oh, child, work it out. Like, right. that was the shit that, that, that raised us, like, oh, shit. If we were to ever do a documentary on battle rap, there's no way that we could skip past the '90s beefs, right. the 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 Snoop Dogs and the and the and the CNN. The state props. But, it, but isn't it a comedic ele- element a part of that as well? Because it is. Like, there, there is because like, if, if like let's say I go to um London. I got a battle out there. And you say some London fucking um, one of they shit. So, I'm, I'm Yo, bro. Say, <laughs> you say bro. Right, right. And they go crazy. Okay. I'm going to say a joke. That's going right, to lighten up boy. the crowd. Right. I like now you on my the side. <laughs> right. Now you on my side. You know what I'm saying? So it all elements of, of whatever appeals to people we right. use. Right. So it's not hard for, for, for somebody to say, okay, all right, I'm not from this region. But I'm gonna go to this region and I'm gonna kill this motherfucker who rules this region because I'm gonna figure out what the fuck they like over here and then what they like about me over here and I'm gonna couple that I keep shit. You battled in the K Dot before, right? Um, what is King it? King of the Dot. King, King of the Dot. I that's the past um, day. That's the uh, Toronto Drake, League, right? Drake, third round. Right. Just watch Drake's face. All right. For, during my third <laughs> round, right. he loses his mind. Right. Right. You feel right. what I'm saying? Right. Like. Is that but, harder to perform when you see somebody in the crowd like a Drake or like a, a Buster? Because oh Buster is no. always there. You want to use that. You, okay. you want to use that. The same way that Mook used um, Buster mm. and, and then said, Buster oh, Lord of Lux wrote a diss about you. You didn't notice. And yeah. then he exposed that during the battle versus Lord of Lux yeah, and Buster that. was in attendance. Uh, mm. Next yeah. thing you know, Buster signs murder Mook. It's yeah. crazy. God damn, you know what God damn, make some noise for that. I, I, <laughs> It's all strategic. Right. But but I feel like there's there's no difference between battle rap mm. and hip hop. No, like it's, it's all it's, 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 it's all it's under all the, the same, same umbrella. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, I don't it's, even think that should be said. Like there is yeah, no I, difference. Yeah, it is right. all one. It's all the I agree, culture. I agree it's all one. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I, I've never looked at it. I just feel like and rappers are gonna fucking be mad at me. But I feel like battle rappers are get they more just do because they have more to lose. Like per night, they have more to per lose. Night. Well, all right, you you know what's funny? Somebody pointed this out to me. It was like, yo, okay, I battle hollow. I wrote about 20 minutes of material. 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. That's an album. All right. That is a whole yeah. album. Yeah. Especially if you break it up, put some skits in there. Hell yeah. That's a whole album. It's the same thing. Yep. It's like it's like somebody presenting their work. The only difference is you guys get royalties. Right. We don't get royalties. That's something I want to change in battle. No, that has to change. Yeah. No, that it has, has to change. change. It has I to be like, like playwrights. How it. playwrights get, get rights and royalties. Right. That's what you guys are doing. That's it. like yeah. a playwright. There shouldn't that's be a it. battle rapper who've had who's had a classic battle that's not still getting paid. Especially off if that's it. at 13 right. million and you such yeah, a, nah, yeah, that you nah, fucking nah, right. You, that, you have to change right. that. You fucking sure. right. And I feel like the battle leagues, URL, King of the Dot. RBE, all the top leagues, you guys need to acknowledge the type of. But that's work why that I acknowledge Drake. I thought Drake. I thought that's what Drake was doing. I thought that's what he was at least leaning towards. Drake did a deal for the league. Okay. The league, at the end of the day, 
Uh-huh. It's going to say, we want to book you and you. Okay. okay, here's my stipulations. Okay. Like right now, URL, I gave my stipulations to battle Geechee Gotti. Okay, I just seen him the other day. Right. He battled... Um, the reason why you're still seeing him right. is because we haven't been locked He's in yet. He's from Nutty Block, right? Yes. All right, see, I'm on point. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, I'm on point. Look at that. Right, cool. Cool. No, 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 no. Cool. I'm on point. No. No. They just want to leave you on point. I'm busy, nigga. I'm busy, nigga. Well, I want to encourage my brothers, like, build a platform. Understand right. your power. Nobody is coming to these battles to see smack rap. Right. They're coming to see you. Uh-huh. Right. But everybody Let's got balls. Let's all just sit smack. back and be like, look, we can't battle until we're getting residuals off of these battles. Let, you- let, me, no, let me tell you a, a, a path that I, I see here. Because when you're saying like the whole thing, uh, we are hip-hop, I feel like it's almost the same explanation that the B-boys and the battle DJs who feel alienated and they created their own lanes. Right. And they almost feel like they're not a part of hip-hop anymore when it's all hip-hop. It is. Damn. Now, what the graffiti writers have done, which is, ew, I don't even know, I don't know how this happened or they who did it. They have a publishing? It. This is what's happened. Get the fuck out of here. When graffiti writers put a mural up or do something, it's automatically copywritten even though it's on illegal walls. So you, I didn't know that. You, That's hard. I don't, and, and look, I don't, I don't, I don't how know. How do you get paid from that? People sue all the time when people here in Wynwood, in this area we're in, yeah. when 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 advertisers come in and take these photo shoots, BMW, yeah. this boom boom in front of a mural, they think this is fucking graffiti. That's I'm ill. Take, I didn't know that. Yo, That's people Ill. are suing That's left Ill. and right and That's making Ill. money. That's Ill. I know friends of mine that are big graffiti artists that just have lawyers on retainer. Go get them. Get them. Get them. Ba- battle leagues. We don't want to sue you. We don't want to do that. Because we've all played our part to build this culture. But it's time for battle rappers to get a royalty off of what they're doing. But is it time for a battle rapper to control the battle rapper league? See, there you go again with this good I'm advice, asking, my nigga. There you go no, again actually, with this I'm shit. I'm really asking. Like, there you go. And, I, and you know what? I, f- I feel like that. They, because, they, because as much as Drake, like, again, again. Shout to Space Ghost. I, I'm big there's, up. A, there's a situation I'm creating called Friday Night Fights. Mm-hmm. And I want to offer that to battle rappers. Right. You get a royalty right. off of whatever we put out. Not only your check, but. You Not get, only your check, because right. the. the the way that things are changing that's what now, right Mayweather's now, doing. I don't know if you've seen Netflix, yeah. Amazon, everybody's trying to get a piece of something that people want to watch over and over right. and over. Right. Battle rappers want to know. Battle rappers should be able, like, okay, Loaded Lux, you had a classic battle versus Calico. Yep. You will never that's make another dime like, off you, of it, and you, people will watch it forever. Do you that's guys when make his pops out and his pops came out? Is that is that, that battle? No, no, no. It was a different. What, what, that, that was that was Hollow the Dawn versus Loaded Lux. That okay. was when he said. Your pops wasn't a gangster. He was just another lost nigga. Oh, yeah. That was like... That was hard. But to know that Lux, you're never going to make another dime Y'all don't get that sound situation. exchange off of anything? No. See, no, that's sound, the type of stuff that needs to change. change. I believe that sound exchange No, that's the type of that stuff... That needs to change. Like, I don't think it's the league's <coughs> fault or right. problem. I think it's a bigger problem. It's a digital thing now. Right. Because once you go, you're putting it on video, it's going dig- it's digitized, it's all about how you figure out those rights. Right, right now, battle rappers are like early rappers, slaves, yeah. where we get one check and bye-bye, this shit could hit any type of channel. You should still get that check or and network. the residual check of a publishing. If that battle goes viral and hits it hard, happen. then it should be a sound exchange type of vibe or something like that. It doesn't happen. We can't even repost our own battles on our own YouTube channels without getting flagged. Wow. So from, no. from the league? Yes. But that's fine. Maybe you shouldn't because the league might have the right to that. But however, long, however many views that league's video gets, you should be able to get residuals off of that. Because you're creating your own property, which is your verses. This is, but for yeah, every battle thing, rapper that's, that's watching that's this crazy, interview though. right yeah. now, yeah, that's, right yeah. now, and everybody who has, because here's, here's the difference in the situation. There are people coming up right now that say, I don't want to rap. I don't want to make music. I want to be a battle rapper. Yeah. Right. I want that to be my career. So we need to change this, and we need to make it a situation where I do a battle for the rest of my life. No matter what that battle does, I'm going to get paid. Wow. 
everybody. Yeah. This should be the industry standard from right now. So everybody that's on URL, King of the Dot, RBE, smack. all around the URL world, don't smack, fly right? in London, right. wherever you at. This needs to be the industry standard yeah. so battle rappers can stop taking battles for the check and actually have a future with this shit. Yeah. That's what I'm gunning for. That, that, is, that is a serious stance. That is a... Uh, I think it's a doable stance. Like, it it's doable. It, and it's doable. It's doable. It's, doable. it's, doable. it's, 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 it's super a, doable. It's a multi-million dollar industry right now. Right. That's but why there I are commend no, Drake. But after 10 years, 10, 11, 12 years, there are no battle rap millionaires. Right. That's wrong. Absolutely wrong. Hip-hop moved faster than that. After six years, there was a there was a hip hop millionaire. But that's why I respect Drake for stepping up, and he uh, uh, attempted to try, regardless right. if it worked or not. Right. I respect Shout him. Shout out to Drake. Yeah, I respect Shout him for stepping Drake. up. But you know what? Uh, it's gonna take a Busta Rhymes to step up. Someone that I know, because Busta loves this shit. Yeah, I know he does. Like, it's only a couple of other rappers I can talk to. And Buster, let me just say the something. The first time I met Buster, look it up. Math Hopper of Buster Rhymes. It's yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, he, he knew your rhymes and everything, right? He was like, of course I know who the God is. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Yeah, trust me. I, I watched know. you versus Iron Solomon. <laughs> right, right. I used to put money on Iron Solomon <laughs> wow. when he battled. That situation that occurred between you two. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, yo. No, it's beautiful. And he's not bullshit. He's, he's really, not. He really he's not. knows. He really, he really, really knows. Like, yeah. and, and I want to correct something you're saying because you said about hip hop millionaires. You guys are hip hop and need to be the the other hip hop millionaires. Thank you, bro. No, that's what you're saying. No, no, no. He was saying. I know what he was saying. Because he said, I'm telling you, I just I I, I speak to b boys. I speak yeah. to to graffiti art, and they they feel alienated outside of hip hop. Right. right. We are all a part of the culture, man. Like right. no, don't let nobody tell you just because there's famous rappers and this is hip hop. Right. We are all a part of the culture, no matter how small, I agree with you. how large, whatever. You That's know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I you know what? And, and I, I want to follow the moniker of what's going on in the Philippines. The right. the top rappers out there not only make records. They battle, they do graffiti, yep. they Aye. dance, they Aye. do everything. Yep. No, well, I'm, well, I'm not saying you know, Noriega should be spending on... No, 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 no. no, 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 no but be. you're already doing it, Matt, because right. I'm just being honest with you. When I saw, like I said, I, I'm going to reiterate what I'm saying because when I seen the podcast, I was like, this is perfect. This is perfect for a person like me that's busy, but this is perfect for a person like me to have nothing to do because you know why? You're giving the expertise I don't know if you, you sat there and said, I'm the expert for uh, opinion because no, of I that. No, I am. But, <laughs> but that was the expert. Like, like I just I can see there and say, oh, okay, that's what happened. All right, cool. That's what, and then, don't get me wrong. Your, your co-hosts don't agree with you all the time. They, they don't. Like, they don't have especially to. Especially my homegirl. What's her name? I forgot Misfit. Her name. Misfit. Shout out to Misfit. Like, like, Shout out to ah, Knowledge. Not, knowledge right. Boom. Like, What's the like, science? Space Ghost, that's my... That's my no, that's my dude. And then my the, the right other there. guy, the other guy came and hang, hung out with me and shit. And um, what I'm saying is, you're doing the correct thing. And the thing is, it's each, each opinions. And that's what it what it's about. It's about covering your own fucking shit. Right. And I really just respect it. But the thing about it is, fucking battle rap culture is still in its infant stages. It's still. But but it shouldn't be. The same way that. No, okay, it shouldn't be financially. Hip hop popped up in like the 80s. Yeah, early seventies, actually early seventies, like mid seventies, mid seventies. No, you I, I agree with you, yet. but it shouldn't be before financially. That, yeah, before, before that, that. Yeah, yeah. like financially, it shouldn't be. But what I'm trying to tell but you, but it wasn't is, a genre until like. What I'm trying to tell right, you is, right. you get an Music artist, genre. you get an artist that been out for 15 years, right? right. And you book him in in Düsseldorf, Germany, and you book a battle rapper in Düsseldorf, Germany. I bet you that battle rap in Düsseldorf, Germany will probably. Sell out quicker no, than, than I'm not, that. You know what? You, what's, what's funny about what you're saying is I went to Sweden, mm-hmm. and um, I want to I remember his name. There was a huge rapper from Houston out there, but he opened up for what we was doing, mm-hmm. yeah. and I was shocked. I was like, "How is he the opener?" Right, exactly. United States. He's making he's making what we make exactly three times every right. night. Exactly. But out here. It's different. It's interpreted right. differently in different right. countries, man. Right. right. It's beautiful. Nah, man. God damn it. Let's make some noise for battle rap. God damn it. <laughs> so, 
in 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 us, me, EFN, and now you know, uh, big up to our brother. Uh, 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 I'm about to say Joe Biden, but Joe Button. Joe Button. <laughs> my Virgo brother, my um, uh, Jersey brother. Um, uh, we've all been pushing for hip hop to have health insurance. Yeah. Mm. That's real shit. Um, and if, I, and I want to continue this with you, but I need to. You got to get PBs? Yeah, no PBs. Yeah, no problem. We don't got nobody to interview. Come on, Haz. Come on, man. Ready? Boy, N-R-E. What up, DJ EFN? And get a free subscription to motherfucking Drink Champs. 60 days on Title. And subscribe. Title.com forward slash Drink Champs. Every 60 days. We here, man. Get that, get that free child, y'all there. Uh-huh. Take a shot. I just stepped over a puddle over there. You sure that ain't you? Nah, nah, I go to the back. <laughs> go ahead, don't get it. The back puddle. <laughs> but health insurance. Right. Me personally. You don't need it. Melly Mel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Melly Mel. Grandmaster Cass. Right. Chuck Grandmaster e. Flash. Grandmaster Flash. Charlie Chase. Charlie Chase. Right. These motherfuckers run into health issues. I don't think they should ever. Definitely not them. These are the architects of the culture. But then I'm we should get, all like like collectively. I say that as to a, get as, it as to a battle culture. Yeah. I say that to get it because yeah. if you really technically think about it, MC Shan and KRS One, all of them, it's probably like the first real battle rappers they embarrass themselves. Like they go hard. No, Cool Mo D and Busy B. Yep. They definitely came first. Right. Cool Mo D and Busy B, but that wasn't technically on record. Rex on Rock Roxanne. Think of me. Cool Day and Busy Shantay, B yeah. was, was face to face. Yeah. That was the original yeah. battle. Battle rap. rap. That's the original battle. Yeah. MC Shan and KRS One took it to new school battle rap. That's what Jay Z and Nas they made did. records. Yeah. They did what, what they did was with Jay Z and what, Nas. What, 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 do you think, what do you think would have happened uh-huh. if, let's say, round one was um, Nas spitting the 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 joint he did on Paid in Full. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. I run Wait, through beans. I run through freeway, yeah, yeah, yeah. money okay. bags. Yeah. Brown, and then Jay-Z answered with the takeover. And then round two was Ether. I'm going to be honest. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Damn, Nas might flip on me. But it took Nas a year and a half to realize... That Jay was going at him. Wait, 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 wait. Cause you got me, you got me stuck. Yeah. I thought Nas started the whole thing. No, Bleak started it. <laughs> no, Bleak got on bring traps. Yeah, he started. said it. He, yeah, he said it. He said it. <laughs> he said he started. Yeah. He said okay. It. <laughs> but but from from my understanding, yeah. According to Clue tapes, yeah. Clue according tapes to Clue wrong. tapes, yeah. Nas did a freestyle. Uh-huh. Saying you think you the king? Nah, nah kings get these great crown shot off. You know what nah, I mean? Like th- this is the thing. The thing about it is this, and we have the proof. Right. I'm so glad this question is because <laughs> I don't have the proof for a lot of shit. Right. <laughs> but, but Blake stood here and was like, one of his friends from his hood said, um, Nah said um, from some shit, and Bleak was like, What? He went at me. Yeah. So Bleak said he just went out. And then yeah. we did a whole little thing, and I was like, yo, Bleak, you thought you could beat Nas? Like that. It was a like that <laughs> yeah. joint. Some shit like that. It was a like it was, that yeah, joint. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. And uh, we went through it, and Bleak thought in his mind he could he really beat Nas. But, but me on the other side, this is the part I didn't get a chance right. to say that. Um, you know, at that time... I was, it was 1997, 1997, mm-hmm. 1998. Right. And me and Jungle was the closest dudes in the world. G Wiz is my man, by the way. That's my people. And Shout out um, to Wiz. Um, I believe 99, 2001 is when Hove started taking the shots. Mm-hmm. And I just remember us like saying, like, we, we thought Hove was taking shots. Like, and but, I was. On what records? Oh, you got a lot of things, Junior Juvio. What year is that? But none of y'all that, that, things that, that, can't that's fool the, with that's you. That's the joint with Beans. Um, um, is it, what, what, Jordan, yeah. what year is that? Um, um, throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. I yeah. believe that's 2001 to 2004. Yeah. It's in that area. If I'm Good. if I'm wrong, right. please tell me. Um, what is it called? 
You know how Matt come through on the, the club, club tip. tip. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the name of that record though? It's it, um yeah. Do It Again. Do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Oh yeah. Do it again. Okay. I said I wasn't gonna smoke. I'm on point. Yeah. I smoke with no, you. No, smoke, smoke, smoke that smoke that smoke smoke the smoke champ. That's for you. That's for you. That's for you, baby. God damn it. Nobody clapping? Yeah, clap champ. But, but but just to show, this is the power of hip hop. We yeah. we cross oh, brand we over our everything. Own shit. Yes, yes we smoking our own shit. Crazy. So look, this gonna be math hop for so boxing said gloves. One day. <laughs> Yo, that's it. <laughs> so did I just say? I, I, I said the year before he said it. That's fire. That's fire. So, and I'll be like, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Like, now nah, I was my brother then. Mm -hmm. He my brother now. But back then, I kind of felt like he was a little naive. Like, to we what were was like, going on? Jungle knew. Right. Me and Jungle, Nas brother, Jungle is just like me. He's foul. Right. Like, no, he's foul. Right. Like, and Jungle is to this day is foul. foul. I love Jungle. Like, I love Nas too. But I'm just saying, Jungle's a foul nigga. And Jungle was like, let's get up. <laughs> you know what's funny? I met, I met Jungle at a battle event. But yeah, trust me, trust, <laughs> trust me. Jungle was a foul nigga. He would have been like, let's get him, man. He would have stabbed somebody with you. I'm just throwing it out there. Just in case it got down to it. I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. The nigga has never got hot in <coughs> Jungle to this day has an apartment in Queensbridge like C Murder. I'm being honest with y'all niggas. <coughs> like C Murder had an apartment in. in, in uh, okay. I'm not playing. <laughs> yeah, niggas, everybody looking like, for real? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's that smoke chance, baby. Yeah. Let's make some noise for us, guys. Hey. But, but back then, you know. No, you can, you can take it to that. Don't worry no, about no, 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 take it to no. that. No, no, that's, that's how it happens. No, that's how it happens. I'm going to stop talking. Give, give me some more Doucet. I'm going to stop talking. All right, get, 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 let's, let's change the tiger, but give him a little bit more Doucet. Are we drinking the rest of the tiger? Let's drink the rest of the tiger. Come on, let's just. Let's go. Coronavirus. Tiny bit. Yeah, tiny shit on us. Facts, we ain't going to get another bottle for a long time, bro. For a long yeah. time. I ain't going to lie. Uh, is that just mine? Did you just. You disrespected me. Give everybody else. Give everybody else. Yeah. Give, give, no, not, not in shot. that. Give me a shot. Yeah, no, don't do that. We bring you a douce. And we know you, we got XO douce just in case you want to go home with that. I will. You know what I'm saying? Just in Definitely case. You know, we take care of our artists. Yeah. You, know, you know that? You know that? I felt, I, felt like, I felt like somebody should say, aw, at that point. Aw. Yeah, aw. That's great. That was, that was hard. Yeah, like, that was great. You know, that was great. I, I want my people's, I want when people come to see Drink Chat, hold on. When people come and see Drink Chance, they know that they take care of their people. You can get smoke, you can joke, and you can choke, God damn it! You know what I mean? God damn it! This is for Mav Hopper. Make some motherfucking noise! Woo! Woo! Not pretend that shit tastes good. I'm not gonna lie. After that takeover verse. I, I, it took me so long to remember that, right? You see me? <laughs> Julia, that means it's raining. I have no idea why I'm talking about it's raining. <laughs> Julia, that's a Julia. I'm trying to learn Spanish. I'm fucking up, math. So Julia. Julia, 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 Julia cards. Julia, like like the Yu-Gi-Oh. Julia. Okay, that's no. that's rain. No. You ever you ever battled a person that got racist? Yes. That's In great. Sweden. Let's make some noise. It's Sweden. Yeah, yeah make some noise for the racist? In Sweden. Wait, wait, you got... No, 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 because I still whooped his ass. Oh, okay, let's All make right. some noise for that. <laughs> so you was in Sweden. I was in Sweden, and one of our guys racist with me. Was you battling Sweden? Oh, he got yes. racist with you. And he was yes. a Swedish dude? What did he yes. call you? He didn't call you. Up. He didn't call me. Nah, 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 nah. That's, like that's, a, that's not going to fly. Yeah. What did you that's not going to fly. And um, he tried to call me a deadbeat. Ooh. And my third round was all about me raising my son. Mm. I even did the Elmo voice. Mm. People don't know this. I got five kids. Mm. I had to learn to adapt. Mm. Sure, if I want to do the Elmo voice, I can do the Elmo voice. But then I feel like it. I do Cookie Monsters with my daughter. I'm not going to do it, but I do it. Elmo love left these two cents. Yo, Elmo battle? Yes. Yo, Elmo battle. Yo, Elmo whooped the race to do that? Yes. That's all. Yes. That's all. Make your noise. Wow. Real shit. Damn, man. Damn. So, um, what's, 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 what's the worst part of... No, wait, uh, were you talking about the Nas and Jay-Z? Okay, yeah, I did. 
Yes, the Nas J, and it took it took it took some time for us to like. Okay. Um. How? What was your stance during that time? Well, this is something you know, I want to ask you if you guys came on my no, show. No, this is beautiful. Like, I, I, I love to handle it on our show. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't worry. I got other no, shit no, for you. No, 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 it's okay. I got other shit for you. No, right. no, I'll be honest with you. Um, right. For years, um, and I say this respectfully, they were scared of each other, which was great. They should have been. Um, but me being the... I, I, I say, I say outsider, and I say cheerleader. I say <laughs> hype man. I will say everything. I was just like, man, like, and and Jungle's his brother. Yeah. So like, when I heard we got a little cause, little jewelry, I just kind of felt like motherfuckers can fool with me. I kind of felt like there was no like There's other no other other person he could be talking about. Right. Nah, I did not feel like that, which was great. Like that was yeah. ill. Yeah. And I remember we seeing them in the Justins, and it was like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> right. And Nas being like, nah. Nah, it's That's, love. It's, it's all love. And then the shots just kept going, just kept going. But it takes time. My, that's my point. My point right. is sometimes a person will see, like, I, I think I brought this up because I said six months later, I said, you know, I think that's, that's why I brought it up. Or we just all over the place. It doesn't matter. Fuck it. Just, but, 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 uh-huh. but, but contrary to what I believe, uh-huh. you're saying Jay started this. Bleak oh, yeah, started Jay. No, Bleak started it. Bleak started it. it. He but said Bleak, it on Drink Champs. Listen, right. Bleak started it. But immediately, if my little man is Your doing something... Your lifestyle's written, so who you... Okay, mm, well, hold on. Play immediately, position if you're doing my little up. man is doing something, I don't, cons- I, I don't call I'm him. I'm going to stop him. I stop him. Right. Which means Jay wanted this. Right. So it's automatically like a cosign. So it's... All, you, you understand? Like, and when we... Yeah, so like Bleak... I remember that line. Your lifestyle's written, so who you supposed to be? Play yeah. your position. Yeah. But that's light. Nah, at that time. It was if written. If you say your lifestyle's written, no, yeah. No, it it's was written. written. It's, it's written. written. It's, 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 it's my number album. one Nas yeah. album. I'm going on record saying it was written is my number one Nas album. Period. You are correct for your own opinion, but you're not correct in this totality. Okay. <laughs> What's yours? Illmatic, brother. Yeah, Illmatic. Illmatic? Yeah, Illmatic. Yeah, Illmatic. Illmatic. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. It was written with so much better. The message alone was like okay. It was written is classic. I'm right. not. I don't want to take away from it. It was written. right. It's just Illmatic. Illmatic was, was still like it, it broke ground though. It broke ground. But, with Illmatic was a visual movie. It was something that you can hear. It was an audio movie. Excuse me. It was something you could hear that you can see. And for me, that was the first time in hip hop, other than Slick Rick Children's story. And I'm not saying the nah, whole, because NWA did that as well. I didn't see Compton. I felt like like NWA. You know I, I, I could visualize. I didn't want to go to Compton. But this you know why? Though? Yeah. You were from it's LA, though. You were from LA. You were from LA. It gives you a service. No, no, it gives you a service. Living in Miami at the time. Nah, nah, living in Miami. You know what I thought Compton was the first time I heard it? I thought it was Rikers Island. I thought Compton was a version of Rikers Island. Island. I said, I don't ever want to go to Compton. I like, thought, I I thought they just wore plaid out up. there all no. the time. <laughs> For real. That's plaid. what I'm saying. Like, you you had to tell me Two Life Crew didn't make you visualize what they was talking about? Yeah, I definitely did. Oh, okay. No, no, no. no. <laughs> first, first of all, oh, no, no, I didn't hear a Two Life Crew record. I just saw the videos. Yeah. So I was like, hey, yeah, yeah it's all yeah. over the place. And, we, and you know, we might have buddy racketed it no, a couple I'm times. Look, you know? <laughs> I think I think we're all saying the same thing but differently. But, yeah, I, but right. I think Illmatic broke so much ground. No, Illmatic was the first album I heard that saw. Does that make sense? I heard it, but I saw it. Boy. But you no, lived I it too. But hold you on, lived hold it. Hold on, time out. I was, I was about to say that to you. I was about to say it wasn't a Queens thing. He was breaking down Brooklyn. He was talking about other niggas. He was, about he was talking oh, he about was. New York City. Right. So the thing is, if you talk about Queens, I get that part. If you limit to me to just Queens, to say that Illmatic was a great album just because I'm from Queens, I would also accept that. But the but fact any, is, he was talking about Brooklyn. He was talking about the Bronx. He was every any, borough. Anybody he in any project. It was a New York State of mind. that. Yeah, any, anybody from a, right, a, but a you, project, a complex, or a co-op. Word. If you were from any from, from a tenement where you had other neighbors, you could relate to what Nas Facts. said. And, 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 and I'm not saying that for a regional thing. I'm saying that because that was a but, piece but of But you should poetry. understand the non-regional 
aspect. And you had to love it too. No, no, of course. Okay. I'm telling you, we right. loved it, but we loved it for different reasons. Okay, and what was your different it reasons? It broke ground lyrically for us. Like we had, we had never but it heard. Broke ground lyrically stop, for stop, us too. stop. You said you, you had never heard? Lyrically, like that? No, me neither. I didn't either. Rock him? Of course. Of course. But I mean, it's different. It was a little yeah, different. That's other than rock I felt like that was the lead it was up to different Nas. because it was no. like a young. No, you're right. It's rock like, him. Yes, of course. Yes, telling yes, you, yes, this yes. was going on it with the young It was our generation, yes. Rock him. Yes. It was yes. our yes. generation. Yes. Yes. There you go. There you go. Fact. Don't let the white beard fool you. But it was me and his generation. Right. Right. But that's what it was. Because Rock him was like God, but he was a little bit older than us. I heard Rock him when I was young, and I was like, Yo, he's nice. Yeah. But when I heard Nas, I was like, It related Yo. more to you we because like we he's more, get he's more rock he's cool like to your uncle. Age, right. And he's rock him right who now. Who's better than rock him? felt like your oh, uncle. Shit. Nas felt like your older brother. Facts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Especially after that. Rakim felt like your uncle. Nas yeah. felt like, like your older brother. After that video music box, did a whole brother. fucking special on him. Yeah. Oh, um, Nas? Listen, my, my every day right. was come from school, Disney afternoon, Batman at 4.30, right. 5 o'clock, video music box. See, this this what brings me back. Because just you saying video music box lets me know that you're from an era of true hip-hop, right? Right. So now what happens? You see these battle rappers. I'm so sorry. I got to ask about it. Mm -hmm. These new niggas, they just, they metaphors. Like I had to, like I said, mm -hmm. the, the bad thing about me interview in person for drink champs is I become these people for two days. So for two days, I just explore your fucking world. He steals right. your socks. Yeah, I steal your socks for two days. <laughs> <laughs> and there was one, like, so, because, you know, I wanted to respect your new job. Right. I didn't want to just look at all your old battles. I wanted to respect your new job. So I right. wanted to look at all these other battles. Right. And I started to see some new battles that was happening. So I had to look, you know, See what's certain going dates, on. certain dates and shit like that. I looked at the YouTubes right. or whatever. And there was a lot of these new guys that they don't study the craft at all. No. They study metaphors. They study a pattern that they think that is usable for everybody. Okay. Just like just like hip hop right now, uh -huh. where the baby will come out with a song. There's that. Pattern. There's like 150,000 people that will come out with a song using the same flow. Yeah, you could hear that flow, that pattern. Uh -huh. One of them might hit. Yeah. One of them might hit and be like, "Oh shit! Oh, this is the other shit." Right. But the rest of them, they're just seeing one thing and emulating it. They're not understanding, yo, the culture is really about original, originality. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Yeah. Mm. And that's the problem nowadays. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like I hear one record, it hits, and then I hear another record that's just like it. And then I hear another record just, just, just like it. But you know what? Just we like guilty? battle rap. A dude, oh. a dude to have a classic battle, and then I hear somebody else come with the same Emulated. shit. That's what separates the legends, the vets, from the rookies. The rookies emulate. The vets, they come into this shit like, how changing. can I be different? Right. The legends, I've been different. I created this style. The legends, they innovate. Right. Right. So like, I, like for National Sunday, I put up a picture of me holding Sue Surf's hand as a child, leaning on me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because my style is what birthed you. Mm. Understand that. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. And there's a lot of, there, there, there's so many other rappers that could do the same thing. Nori. I, but is there a how way, many, but hold on, but is all there. All y'all niggas wanna say what what? God damn it. How many times was you sitting in the crib and somebody be like, yo, I just heard a song Somebody said, what, what? On it. You want me to tell you what I gave to the game? I got a lot more than just what, what. Right. Okay, I gave what, what. I gave Jump Off. I gave Haterade. First of all, I gave all, Slime. You stood up for New York. You gave Oyo Mikanto. You stood up for New I York. I gave Oyo Mikanto. Damn, nigga. That's a huge hit. You right. stood up for New York when, yeah, when Snoop no was one, kicking out the buildings. Yeah, no, when no one stood up when for New York. When Snoop was kicking and, out the buildings. And guess what? We had CNN. Out of all them niggas that's on that record. And when we needed Mas Maiz, you gave it to us. I also gave it. <laughs> <laughs> More corn for us. <laughs> I gave you Mas Maiz and LA. <laughs> we we'll let you know, I want to party and go to war at the same time, nigga. It's all good. I ain't back Let's go to LA and get that.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? And to this day, I'm one of the only niggas going to LA to this day. You know, Daz is one of our, our closest friends. Uh, Corrupt is one of our Shout closest friends. Uh, salute, me, and, me and E40 working on something. I can't tell you what we working on because I don't even know what we working on. Right. It's just something we working on. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. And, and you know, so... But to tell you the truth, I'm a New York nigga no matter where I'm at. I don't give a fuck if you, you move me to... The Bay Area, you move me to Miami, there's a person that's gonna come in there and say, Where you from? And I'm gonna say, I'm from Oklahoma, Nebraska. And they're gonna say, You from New York City, City. nigga. <laughs> Your accent can Yo, listen, God Ray, one of my closest friends, a lot of people don't know this, was John Singleton. Wow. John Singleton was my homie. That nigga did Rest not in live in LA. Rest in peace. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow. That nigga lived out here. Yeah. I used to be with John Singleton about two, three days of a week. And I used to just be, and I used to starve to him. I'm like, yo, put me on snowfall. <laughs> that nigga said, your New York accent is the most terrible accent I've ever. Norby, I wouldn't even set you up to put you on snowfall. I'm like, you don't think I could be a LA nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Give us your best LA right now. I can't do it. No, he I, was right. I, I, I'll <laughs> be right. honest with you, bro. I can't see it. <laughs> Right. I can't see it. Right. I can't see it. Listen, he was right. Because I, I did try to look in the mirror and I was like, yo, cuz, yo, blood. You can't see it. You a mark. I'm like, damn, this nigga John got me. Like, <laughs> I can't do it. But then I met my nigga from actual snowfall. What's my nigga? The British dude. This Franklin. nigga don't speak. Franklin. He's British, right? Yeah, he's That's British. my nigga. Listen. That's crazy. This, That's super active. But then when I met him, I was like, he's like, hey, Nori, I took your trip. I said, what? <laughs> so this nigga complained yeah, about my He's a thespian, man. But, but that let me know I'm not a real actor, like, because I can't turn it on and turn it off like that. I can't be like... You know, I can't be like no, you're a boy loco for life. Yeah, no, I, no, 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 listen, no, no. I can play a Spanish nigga no, and a no, black no, nigga. That's no, it. No, no, I guarantee you, there's a hit series waiting for you to play play a part in. From LA, you want to be a West Coast no, nigga? No, no, you uh, can't be. You can't be a West Coast nigga. I gotta, I gotta stay can't. in New York. You can't. You gotta stay. New York, you gotta stay with East Coast. Yeah, yeah, East Coast. East Coast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, East Coast. I gotta keep you good. keep it tuned with Ice T. That's my nigga. Keep it tuned. He got a CSI. Developing somewhere <laughs> for me. <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, you gotta get my C on that shit. Uh, that's my nigga. Like, CSI Dominican Republic. <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah, I can do. I can be in Dominican. CSI Punta Cana. Punta Cana. Casa de Cabo. Casa de Cabo. I like that. I like that. Yo, but man, I'm just being honest, man. I, I had very fun with you, and I knew I was gonna have fun with you. Yeah. Hold on, let me finish my my champagne. Hold on. You're not done yet. I'm Boris, not done. I'm just gonna. Cool. Can you open this? One? I'm gonna um. Please. Yo, so so have you been following like what's going on in battle rap, like the viral stuff? I have not. Please, can you put me on? I have been following as much as I can, but what I have know you seen? I know I'm not. Best in, friend goals. Have you seen that? I have not seen best friend. I have no idea what's going on. T Rex taking a shot in an orgy. In an orgy. Definitely have not no. Seen that. Okay, yeah, all right, cool. It's out there. Check it out. Wait, T Rex from Dot Mob. Dot Mob. My nigga with the little pimple on his side. You never saw that? Shout out to T Rex, man. He took a wait. wait took, I don't know what did. that it, is. It, it, it was a video that went viral recently, mm -hmm. where T Rex was, you know, he was in a situation. That's like where not he a had, wheelchair. No, he had something bent over. He had and something. his man gave him a shot while he had something bent over, and he looked in the camera. It looked, it looked crazy. But niggas is still training shit. Yeah, no, it wasn't Driz? trained. It was just. It was just in the same room. Okay. Was Pun proud or sad? <laughs> pun was proud. Pun was proud? Pun was oh, proud. That's cool. Pun was as proud. As long as Pun, as pun is proud, let's salute yeah. that. Because <laughs> I ran Triz with Pun, and I was not happy Why? about it a couple you really? times. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Hold on. He forced me to. This really happened. No, no, no. He forced me to. Because I heard... Pun was a wild I heard every record with you and Pun. Yeah, Pun was a wild And I was like, you could Nori tell and Pun friends. getting along together, <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, no, I no, love this shit. This is friends. I love this shit. These motherfuckers mm. got the best skits mm. in the world. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, but Pun was a foul. Did you man. actually act, get to... Yeah, no, we've done... To run Tris name. No, I've done Tris some name. shit. Yeah, I've done some shit. Tris name? With Pun, yeah. And, and you know, you know, I really wasn't with it. 
Would I have fun? <laughs> <laughs> I was 18 at the time. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all niggas, I've never seen, like, you know, the New York City, this is this slush on the floor, like in the wintertime, right? He said, I never seen me and niggas. Joe are like polar bears. You can't do, look, look directly at our asses. Oh, no, no, no. That, I, that I don't want a part happened. of that. I don't want a part of that. I, was, okay. no, I wasn't there. This, this is the part when I seen Pond, like, I seen his people, like, you know, in New York City in the wintertime, there's slush on the floor. Right. And sometimes there's slush. It's, it's yellow, sometimes a little bit of black. It's not really slush you want to fucking touch. It's not touch. the same, yeah. Yeah. I've seen my niggas fill up super squirters with the slush. <laughs> and hit people with it. Was it you, though? No, they hit bitches. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know why, because the bitches sucked everyone's dick. But this is back in the days. This is like 1998. Yeah, it, it was like, it's like, why treat them like that? They're doing something for This is like 1998. Like, like, they sucked everyone off. I, I, they, I, I, then we had a trizz. It was like Queens against the Bronx. Like, who, who, who could not... not who could nut the least? The least? The least, yeah. So it was like, yeah. So we had a Queens girl, fucking a Bronx nigga, and a Bronx nigga fucking so I, I wanna ask you a question. So it was like, whoever busts first lost. So That's what a crazy. terrible contest. So mind you. Won. I think Queens be won. Queens won. By this default. Is a by default. But, but mind Cause you. Because there's nobody in this. Just, just speak for the no, bros. But mind you, me and Pun is rooting them on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we're it's like we're playing crap. So you was in it? No, no, I was in it on it. It's fantastic. <laughs> so we just rooting them on. Fantastic. Like, no, no, in the fantastic. So we're just, we're just rooting them on. But the thing is, no one could really nut. It's 14 niggas in there looking at you like this. Come on, nigga, hold it down. Back. Back. <laughs> and you that like happened this. to me one time. You like that. I had a chick in the front and a chick in the back. Didn't work. Wait, so what was the chick in the back doing? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You got the ass tape. Let's just make some noise. I'm gonna keep it real. 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 Damn, you ain't gonna make noise, man. I'm gonna make it real. You know what these females put us do? That's the least we can get. You know what I'm saying? All right, make some noise for that, So, it's my man's bachelor's party. It's actually Sav. He used to manage Young Sav. Young Sav? Young M.A. But Young so Sav from um, Dev Jam? No, Sav okay. that used to manage Young M.A. Okay, we're going to remember this nigga. On, uh, Let's go. Not on, on uh, Duck Down. With Duck Down in them? Yes. Okay. But okay. he was a you with Duck Down. All right. He just, Let's he go. just picked her up. Okay. Yeah, like, young M.A. started off with a, with a manager named Young Sav. He's from Crown Heights. Okay. Right. He's my man. Right. And Duck Down. At his bachelor Duck party. Down. Home of the original gun clappers. So we've taken it back to Black Moon and Let's everything. Go. Black Moon. Mm-hmm. They just had they just recently had their twenty first anniversary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they legends in the game. That's crazy. crazy. They, they love for, Duck Down. For twenty years in the end. I followed them on Twitter. And it's Brooklyn all day. And so, I, so I went to his bachelor party. Mm-hmm. I was a young young dude at the time. And he didn't want to go through with the festivities. Mm-hmm. So he was like, hey, man, if it's so on you. And there was a chick in the front. Mm-hmm. And the festivities there was, two was in chicks the back in the front. Or no, no, hold on. There was two chicks in the front. <laughs> okay, man. But one of them just wanted to go to the back. It sounds like Eddie the Ass Eater was not, somewhere. Not, right not for me. Too. No, no, hold on. Not for me. That ain't really the move. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, not, I'm not be back honest. there. White things looking front. at you different. You sure you want to miss and finish this? Story? No, no, that's cool. She, okay, she, she, she knows it's about cool. the ass eating. Cool. Everything is right. been disclosed. She, she knows what I like, what I don't like. Right. She's, All documents have been opened. This, this, yeah. this is prior to that? Wow. Yeah, right, she don't give a fuck. To, okay. She don't give a fuck. So, I can fart in the she, face. She, she don't has care. hand right. sanitizer. Anyway. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, I gotta right. take a piss, but I'm I'm really into this ass eating part. Let's so, go. So this oh, chick, oh, oh. this chick, kept moving to the back, and I'm like, yo, what you doing back there? <laughs> I'm and looking, she's like, I'm hey, you're going to like gems. it. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, you're going to like it. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wait, no, she so, really so said, hey, you're going to like it? Every time she went for it, there was a change in the front. 
Because I didn't like it. You did what I'm saying? You're like changing gears? There was a, no, there was a change in hey. Oh. Yeah, you're changing gears. Well, I don't oh, like this. Oh, but the front wasn't stepping it up? The, the, front, front. the front was stepping it up. Okay, that's how I felt. But the back was a distraction. It was very The back was okay. fucking everything up, right? Okay. I don't like this. So this is not hip-hop and said, R&B anymore. I yeah. said, yo. <laughs> I said, yo, stop. Uh-huh. <laughs> and she was like, nah. <laughs> Eddie Giggs, you want to she, she, ruined, she ruined the whole situation, basically. She ruined the whole situation. Uh-huh. So after a while, I was like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good on this. I don't like it. This is what it is. But if you out there and you, you know, you're a man and you like getting your ass licked, that's on you. That's you my man, Eddie Giggs. Where you at? Uh-huh. Eddie Giggs! Eddie Giggs! Salute to you, bro! Get him on camera! Get him on camera! Because, no, I do not like my ass eating. I eat the ass. That's what it is. Wait, so you don't... I eat her ass. Have you, ever, have you ever felt that? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? No, I don't like, like it. You have felt it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I'm like, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. What happened when they tried? Ian Fett, how do you I feel know. about it? I ain't mad at it. You ain't mad at it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. I ain't mad at it. Don't leave me back. Don't leave me back. I ain't mad at it. So, so hard. So hard. So I'm not going to go out there and talk about it. Hold on. How, how many chicks would you say have actually performed this on you? Nah, it'd probably be like one or two. One or two? Yeah. One or two. Yeah, it takes a special chick to yeah. want to even go that route. I'm just saying, it, it, it's becoming popular. You should, you should just leave the mic down. It doesn't even look good when we're okay, talking about this. Pause. The mic pause. pause, pause. So who are these chicks, these one or two? Who are they? I'm going to talk about names and shit? No, no, not names. You don't got to get names. Nationalities and nah, shit? No, just areas where they reside. It's all Miami. We're in Miami, dog. Miami? We're in the freak town. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Is Miami really the freak town? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I can only speak for... Nah, what? bro, I lived out here for nine months. It's not the freak town. Wait, wait, wait. Where do you live out here? I live downtown Miami. Okay, that's the, you're not living in Miami, Miami. So what's real Miami? It's just like, it's just being in the, in, in the neighborhoods, in the neighborhoods. Hialeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They, they eat mad ass over there, that's what y'all saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking, I'm just checking. Hey man, all, all I'm saying is this. I, I, I thought it was weird too, but I was like, wow, she really cares about my well-being. <laughs> she went for it. She really wants to make sure. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. The first time wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, Noy. Hold on, Noy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, go. Was you bent over? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Was your legs up? Yeah, neither of them. Neither of them. Was your legs up? Neither Yo, why, why, your legs why up? is your mic going in for this? You need to pause yourself. <laughs> was your legs up your butt? <laughs> or was your legs up? Because I am front. Because my I, mic. I, I don't like this new era porn <laughs> when niggas be having their legs up. I don't like that, B. It's I'm not, not going to say it. I, I, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. What are you not going to say that you're probably going to say? What? I'm not going to say what? it. What? What the comic shit? You got a finger pop or something. This is where finger pop got to get back in style. Finger pop. I, I, yeah, I, I, you want to bring finger pop back. I want to bring finger pop and back. So what does right. that have to do with that situation? I'm not going to lie. I, think, I feel like well, a lot of the situations. Days, I used to finger pop chicks. Yeah. And then I put my hand by the side of their face when I kiss them and smell the finger. Mm. And be like, oh, nah, I'm going to leave this alone. Yeah. Or, nah, it's ready to go. <laughs> she got to smell like we, turquoise we need, for me to keep going. We need to bring going. that back. We need to bring that back. It got to smell like turquoise for me to keep going. Turquoise. If it don't smell like turquoise, what, is tur- what does turquoise, turquoise smell, smell like? like? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> He's welcome. Like, I don't know what it smells like. Rest in peace, Bob Smoke, but welcome to the party. Rest in peace, Bob Smoke. Rest in peace, Bob Smoke. I'm a turquoise. I'm a turquoise. Let's man. give him a real rest in peace, though. Let's give him a real rest in peace. Yeah. Rest One, in peace, Bob Smoke. two, three. Rest in peace, Bob Smoke. Rest in peace, Bob Smoke. Yo, but how. Cr- oh. Let's give him a moment of silence. Amen. Amen. Yo, but how crazy is that for you, a Brooklyn nigga? I feel like the Takashi situation fucked us all up. Led to that. Uh, explain that. Ta- connect I'm, that, I'm, I'm, connect I'm, that. I'm gonna make your shit make sense. Cause the way Takashi should have been rolling is the way Pop Smoke should have been rolling. Right. Yeah, am I fucking now, your shit now, up? Not only that. Not only that. But there's an association. You didn't know what I'm saying? Security. No. He needed no, to security. Not them, but what they claim 
that was in association. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dig what I'm saying? And then you go to the West Coast, who's with you? Mm. You talking about gang gang shit. Right. Right. I never, I never really fully understood the gang gang shit in New well, York. Well, none of us fully understood the gang shit. Even the people that grow up in the gang shit, they don't fully understand it. That's why there's always innocent bystanders that happen. The thing about it is we got to start looking at each other as blacks. We got to start looking at each other like hip-hop. We got to start looking at each other like, you know, the people who, who, who understand the same thing. Like, if I look at you like a king, if I look at you like a pharaoh, it's hard for me to hurt you. Right. If I look at you like a nigga or I look at you like a fucking, you know, a cuz or a blood, it's right. easy for me to hurt that. Right. The thing is, I want, I want, to, I want us to span. The thing is, it's bigger than hip hop. It's bigger than, it's, it's you know, we, so, we should do. We should, we hip hop is a fucking nationality. And if you love hip hop and and and, and you white and you love hip hop and, and 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 you Colombian, you love hip hop and you Dominican, and you love hip hop and you Asian, and we're all together, then we gotta all be together. That's a fact. We gotta all be together. This I shit had to is check crazy. Myself today, North. Yes. Okay. I'm walking down Lincoln. Road. I notice that when a black person walked past me, you get that? I was. I was on the eyes, like, mm. I don't know where it's at. That's that New York in you. And then when somebody else from a different race or whatever mm. walked past me, I didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. But I kept paying attention, and I said to myself, why the fuck am I doing this? That's New York. Why am I doing this? At the end of the day, you out here, I'm out here. You probably trying to have a good time. I'm trying to have mm -hmm. a good time. Mm -hmm. Why am I watching you? Why do I suspect you of being the enemy? Mm -hmm. But that's hip hop. It's hip hop and it's New York and hip hop. But okay. yeah. But, but it's not good for us. No, it's terrible. Because at the end it of the day. It took me 10 years to get over what you just said. 10 years. 10 years. Wow. Every time I ever seen another black person, I always was on guard. Every time I seen another person who, not even a black person, it didn't matter if they was black. If they had a Dodgers hat on, if they had a hoodie on, if they had the same Jordans that I was on, I knew they was on that type of time I was on. Right. So I immediately got on guard. Right. I took me to turn 42 years old that I could sit back and I could say, what's up, homie? How you doing? Where you from? Right. It really, because I was just like, fuck everybody. The thing is, when I got into this game, I felt like, fuck y'all niggas. Like, I, don't, I ain't got to be involved with y'all. And then as I kept elevating, I realized I'm the only nigga that's thinking like this. Right. The thing is, everyone else is happy. Why I can't be happy? And and as I elevated, I realized that that's some real New York shit. Like, it is. Motherfuckers in LA, they all get along. Motherfuckers in Atlanta, that's why well, Atlanta's renting. Right. Atlanta can look at another person renting. And do a that's song. not true, man. That's not really true. No, no, no. Just hear me. No, no, everybody no, in every, I, I, in every I, I, city has their own issues. But everybody in every city has their own issues. No, no, no. I'm not comparing this to New York. No, no, no. This, this, New York. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, EFN, because I, I should have realized everyone else is here. I, was just, I had an eye to eye contact with him. So what I'm saying is I'm just giving him a, a New York perspective. Right. Like a, when we go out of town, sometimes. And just, it's just, terrible. just to show an example of what it is. Right. Clue tapes. We never heard a Nas and Biggie collaboration. Mm -hmm. right. We never heard Nas collaborate from with anybody that wasn't from Queens. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? We never heard well, Biggie. AZ was, but, but AZ was considered a Queens right, nigga right, right. because right. of his affiliation. Facts. Even though he was from Facts. the most Brooklyn from, hood from the most ever Brooklyn East New York. Hood. Facts. Yep. But there wasn't too much of that. Yep. So it was always a separation if it came to who's the best rapper, um, who's 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 the most creative? Who's doing this? Who's doing that? We will always section off to our borough. Right, and this yeah. is part of the reason why the rest of the country ended up taking over hip hop. Yes, I because agree with you. Us, I agree with like you. in other in other regions, New York wouldn't let us in. They thought that we were corny. They thought we. Well, it's not only that. It's not only that. The but, South represented the South at one point. No, no, no. The whole South. No, no, no. Every region. Every region. New New York. Brooklyn. Queens, yeah, exactly. Harlem, Staten Island, Long Island. Y'all were too busy yeah. with each other. I don't know five, and, yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah, five boroughs in Atlanta. Right. I don't know five boroughs in Florida. But in I don't every fuck, city, I don't know, you there's, what I'm there is their own boroughs. They don't just yeah, have There is an open locker. There is an over town. There is a But it wasn't clean like that. Right. If you came from that, if you came from that, you said ATL. But it was an ignorance to the way that New York 
hip hop looked at the rest of the don't don't, of the don't blame New York hip hop. They blame hip hop. Is it? Is it? But hip, hip, don't but say hip, no. No, say no. New but New York was the mecca of it. The industry no, 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 was there. But, but the thing is, Japan looked at it the same way. Uh, uh, Australia looked Nobody at it the same looked at it way. only because of New York. No, no New York no, was no, the no, beacon. No. New yes. York represented what we represented, and the world gravitated to it. No, so like, whatever you can't New York blame told New York. Of course us. we yeah. can. No, no, no. Uh, absolutely, we can't. What, what you mean? Saying, blame us for what? Yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm, saying, I'm we just blaming saying the South right now for running it. No, we can't blame. We're them. not blaming you. I'm just saying to you. We're not blaming they're... it, but 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 I can't see how someone from the South said. Let's Look, not. Y'all be can't like critique that. what yeah. you got. You guys can't say the critique, and then when I critique it from the outside, say no, 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 no. But you guys, I'm yeah, saying the same thing you guys are saying. Right. Yes. But from the outside, but, you, but when I say it, you're like, no, yes, no, 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 yeah, and you we're guys not are looking the outside of what we're exactly. doing. Exactly, but it, we're it, like, I'm from Queens. It's just like, it's just like every it blood, every crip in Los Angeles can always critique every blood and every crip from New York. They it's, can. So it's vice versa. It's, the it's same exactly. Exact way. No, you're so absolutely. Right. Everybody who does hip hop outside the reality, of New York, and we can right. critique you. The reality absolutely. Absolutely. We can no, critique no, 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 you. Because no, no, you know why hip hop in Britain in New York. So it doesn't matter. If it but look what happened when Crips and Bloods got exported. Exactly. It Same, got thing crazier. Same thing with Same thing with hip hop. Same thing. Let's wait a Same second. Chris and Bloods started in the West Coast. Yep. Right. Hip hop started in New York. As far as we, I mean, knew, I, actually, I think that's a bad analogy to be honest. As with you, far as we knew, they too were late. Repping, you was in. No, no, I was, but I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Every set represents you took the an bait. area. I didn't take exactly the bait. What I was doing. You, you're dead. And you. <laughs> but, every, but, but I retract. I retract my <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Continue, man. So every set represents an area. <laughs> no, no, but I take it back. So none of this. You're saying no, 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 no. Continue, man. But every set represents an area, right? For New York. You didn't have to have a set. You was just from that area, and that's what no, it was. No, your set was your borough. That right. was your set. That, that that's is what I'm, set. That, that's, the, that's the same thing I'm saying. Right. You was from that area, and that's what it was. Okay, so what are we saying? But on the inside of it, there wasn't like a, a, a differential, like the way there is now. No, like, what it, I, I feel like there's new rappers coming up that feel like I got to be blood or I got to be crit. To but be that's, a yeah, that's a completely different conversation than we're having. But yeah, yeah, but you're right. You're you know right. what I'm saying? No, you're right, you're right. But for for us, like it was like, nah, I wasn't under that. I'm from Ryan mm-hmm. Heights. Yeah. You had to stand you, on your own. You from Best Style. Or oh, like, I'll be like in Best Style like, sometimes. For so instance, when Capone and Noriega came out, we was right. against all odds. To tell you the truth, um, Puff Daddy was controlling it. I think you said it earlier with mm-hmm. the um shiny suits. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I tell that to Puff uh, for the last two years that me and him, you know, last couple of years, uh, we haven't been able to hang out as much. But in two years prior to that, I had to tell him. I said, yo, I said, hate you in 1988. I hated you in 97. Why? Might have hated you in 99 because you had Chinese suits. Yeah. Chinese? He had Chinese and, and, suits? No, shiny. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm a dick. You know, both, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, both Chinese and Chinese. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to tell you the truth, you, you, you represented the exact opposite of what I represented. Like, you know what I, that, that, to me, that was my shiny suit. You see, when I look at Raekwon, the that Snow joint. Beach pull up, yeah. po- polo, that was my Versace. That was my Gucci. Absolutely. That was my uh, 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 Kuji. That was it right there. You see the shit that's to the left of that? Eric being Rock Kim. I, I don't, look, they got Gucci, but that Gucci is not Gucci, and that's Dapper 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 Dapper. I understand. Yeah. There, there was a stick up kid named 50 Cent. Of course. We spoke in that about 50 era Cent. That yes, we're we looking at right now. Cent. Yeah. And yeah. he might have got both of those chains. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. From, from Albany projects. Mm. What, he took their chains? Listen, we you don't know the history. No, I don't know that. No, 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 no we spoke about 50 Cent right here. With, with, with Jazz O, with um, 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 Little Sean. Oh, about the original yeah, 50 Cent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 Cent yeah. said, I'm from Queens, but I'm motherfucking BK Hart. Right. right. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. Yes. Right. Yeah. He picked a nigga from Brooklyn that everybody yeah. was like, ah, it's 50. 50 got everybody. You, you want a blunt? You sure? You, I, I, you know, this I'm gonna fuck with you. This bro. is New York City. Yeah, take a blunt. You, bro. I'm take your own you, blunt. Take your own blunt, brother. Eddie, Eddie has heroin if you want. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Don't listen to this nigga. <laughs> listen to this nigga. Yo, Matt, I can't. That's what I you're can't. doing later? No, no, no. no. <laughs> listen, so, Matt, what battles are you looking up to now? What, I mean, you. Two Surf versus Loaded Lux. Mm. 
Oh, shit. They, they battled before? No, they're contracted. We don't have a date on it, but they are contracted okay, under Okay, so Sue Steve LaBelle. That's Steve LaBelle, homie, right? And then Loaded Lux. That's my man. Loaded Lux. You motherfucking preacher, nigga. Malcolm so Max. It's, it's basically the dude that's... He's a new era. He, he claims might be neighborhood. In a new era he claims Lux. neighborhood. Crip? He's been shot a couple times. Damn. He got shot five times. So he's a 50 cent of battle rap? He's a 50 cent of battle rap. Mm -hmm. And he's been locked up a whole bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And every time he came back, he came, strong. He came crazy. Mm -hmm. So it was like, at one point I was like, damn, do I need to go to jail? Like, what's it going to go to jail. No, because he, when he came out of there, it was fury. That's his power. And then we got loaded Lux, the performer. The master, the, the one of the yeah, Hot 97 fathers. right now, doing some shit. I don't know what he's doing on Hot 97. I don't know what he's doing either. Yeah, but he's there. Nobody care about that. Yeah, it's okay. We care about hot nine, when you step on that nine, stage, yeah. who you are. Yeah. Lux versus Surf is going to be the battle of this year. And is that smack? Is that URL? That's what, smack. what league? That's smack. Because at the end of the day, I give it up to King of the Dot. I give it up to RBE. But Smack is really the person who created multi-million dollar industry mm. from this. So if a person asks you right now, you got a two million battle, two million dollar battle, and you could pick who, what league you want to battle, what league are you, you picking? URL. Respected your answer, God damn it. I really do. I really do. That's, that's Smack, right? You are on Smack, right? I got you. I got you. Wow. I got you. Wow. Because not only did, like... I'm really into this answer. Right, Smack DVD was what it was. I'm sure you was on it. A million people on it. I, I, was, right? I was scared to... I was watching. I was scared to be on it for camera. YouTube. When YouTube was introduced, then we got to see what everything was worth. When the battles got uploaded. Can, can, can you remember everything we were about to say? Because let me just tell you something. Right. At that time, when the battles got uploaded on YouTube, you guys was worth more than us. Because people kept watching them, watching them, like, watching them. Listen, watch, when YouTube watch first got them. uploaded, battle rappers was worth more than rappers. There was time. Gucci Man interviews. There was 50 Cent inter interviews. There was Kanye interviews. But the battles, the numbers just kept growing and growing yes, and growing and growing and growing and growing. That's a fact. Smack that back to him and say, I got to make a dollar off this. This is a culture. It's real shit. Mm -hmm. Made it happen. So I, I'm always going to say, like, for right now, it's beautiful. even though I love RBE, I've made the most money in battle rap that I've ever made off of RBE. King of the Dot, we got love too. I, one of my Who's battles in King of the Dot is the most that I ever made in King of the Dot. But Smack, there's just a history there that's like undeniable. And everybody's gonna gravitate to it. And he feel like Don King, because everybody like diss him and big him up at the same time in the battle. Facts. <laughs> he just be standing there. At the same there. time. He, at the same he, time. He always have glasses on, because someone's gonna diss him and shit on him smack at the same time. Smack him fuck up forever. <laughs> and motherfuckers will still be like, nah, it's Smack, bro. Yeah. All right. And they be like, Smack believed in him, but fuck Smack and cheated him. He's like, right? what the fuck? The other niggas around him was like, fuck them niggas. <laughs> yeah. That's right right now, like, they just think I, I smashed Beasley wife. And no, I didn't. Wait a it's minute, crazy. Math, he wasn't ready. <laughs> I Googled that. You saw it? I got it in the Google. Got it in the Google? <laughs> 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 Yo, I wasn't going to bring it up. This shit crazy. <laughs> the CIA told That was the third page. That was the third page. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say this. I got love for Beasley, I got love for Smack. You know what I'm saying? We both grew together, but I'm always gonna be on the side of the battle rappers. I'm always And Beasley I'm like solid. Nas, that means you must be a cute nigga if you could fuck Nas. Beasley Nas. like Nas? He look like Nas a little bit, he right? Thinks, uh -huh. Like him, D-Nas, him, D-Nice? Like, they don't look like, no? D-Nice, yes, I see that. You know, D-Nice look like Nas a little bit. I see that, you know? yeah, yeah. No? no. 
No. No, oh, I'm bugging out. But, but D-Nice right. does look like Beasley. That's crazy. All right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> crazy Those you light skin that. niggas, you, you fucking, you fucking how <laughs> we show us niggas and shit like that. Like, come on. But at the end of the day, like, they are the most ambitious league in this culture. They are the ones that's going to, like, I'm going to hit this, this milestone before you. I'm going to gravitate these numbers before you. They're doing that to the other leagues. And I, I'm, I'm not mad. Like, RBE, love RBE. I paid and, the and most. And you felt like after, like, the fights, you, you didn't feel like, you felt like any... That they was trying. It, it, it kind of, it kind of forced it at that time. It kind of forced time, something between it. us. Okay, that was real. Because I respect that. Smack had um sponsors called Exclusive Vodka. Mm. When I popped on Jones, <laughs> when I popped on Jones, they said the vodka is not exclusive. That anymore. was ten minutes <laughs> before I met the owner of Exclusive Vodka. Oh. So he wasn't feeling me. So I understand it. But three and a half years? Right. I damn near did a bid for a salt charge, bro. I got to be honest with you. Yeah. As a person that does business, right. that's exactly the amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> you should be on timeout. It should be four or five. Three and a half is probably lucky. Because... Yeah, that's a fact. They put I, me, I, give it some, I had a shot, shootout in front of... Did I say that? I like so. Did I say that? What? Well, there was a shootout that happened in front of Hot 97. Right. That I had nothing to do with. I was not there. Right. <laughs> bang, bang. I don't like that laugh. Sunny. Be Sunny. Best, Sunny verse, best verse ever spit My in Foxy, Foxy Brown? Brown's career. Oh, bang, bang. Foxy killed that. So, by the way, I had nothing to do with that. But I had to wait four years. No, I was on the West Side Highway. I didn't make it. But... What I'm trying to say is, four years I had to fight that. Now, that was the best Foxy Brown. What was the, her verse was hard, wasn't it? Hardest. That was a battle rap. That was battle rap. And let me tell you something. Not, 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 not only was this coming like off of your solo joint. When I heard Bang Bang, I was like, it was just Brooklyn. But let me just tell Brooklyn you. Brooklyn was going to ride with Foxy. Shout out to Alchemist who produced I'm going to tell you and, what happened. It didn't matter that she was going against somebody else in Brooklyn. I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. It was just I've like. I've never yo. said this story, man. You know what? You're my friend that much, and I respect you that much. I'm a, I'm a, this is the first time I'm going to reveal the story. I think I've revealed it slightly, but I'm going to reveal it in totality. Right. By the way, I'm, I've been in the studio with Foxy like years ago. Yeah, she's crazy. She's crazy. She's a talent, though. She's talented. Around the time she was switching over to Bad Boy, mm. and she was trying to make that happen. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I was there. I didn't meet. I didn't. I didn't meet her, and I was glad because I, I never wanted her to sign the Bad Boy. Right. That was like a Kim thing. I feel you. Well, anyway, after right. after what happened, whatever. Uh, Quiet Storm is out. Mob Deep. Mob Deep. Which Prodigy. is, which is, this is the thing is, we never intended on this to be a battle rap record. Why is some remix with Kim? I don't know what I mean, they what, intended. Right. That's, that's their what, that's, record. That's what right. happened, the Kim remix of it. That came right. out. What happened was, I had a beat from their people. Right. You know who did Bang Bang? Alchemist. Alchemist. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Alchemist. I was on the phone with him today. So, I'm not intending, if you listen to our verse or my verse, I'm not dissing no one. Right. I'm actually dissing niggas from my barrel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> listen to what I'm saying. I say, um, bang, bang, nigga, gang, gang, hang, hang, hang. I keep long gas and big chains. I don't like having sex. I like brain. Yeah. And smoke some blend fans with five in the range. Yeah. And it's nothing for me to sit on your three. I'm yeah. from left rack, 20 minutes from QB. Yeah. I'm in you. So you should just let us be. I'll find yourself shot up in the hospital. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing to do with do anybody with from Brooklyn nothing. at all. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. At all. This is straight up me and mine. But in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn is different. <laughs> me and mine. <laughs> right. Boom. I don't remember Paul verse, but then Foxy comes on. And 
They listen, could not stop listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Okay. Pause this video. <laughs> Go look up Bang Bang. Yeah. CNN featuring Fox and Br Foxy Brown. Yes. And then come back mm. and listen to the rest of the story. Yeah. It's crazy. So, I'm going to be honest with you. When Fox spit her first two verses, we looked at each other like, no. Because she was, listen, the verse that y'all got is great. <laughs> is it crazier but, one? There's two verses. Oh, I, we have it on real. I have it on real. What are you doing with it? I'm never going to put it out. I want to hear it, though. No, nah, I, I would let her hear can, it first. Can, can I hear it? No, I'm going to be honest. I would let her hear it first because, you know, because, and I think she would say to me, please don't put that out because we were young. We were 28 at the time. Yeah. And the shit that she said, mind you, this is battle rap shit. This is the reason why I'm bringing it up. I never bring it up with anybody else. Like, you know, the shock value, when she was saying shit, like, and she was saying, but again, she was saying Brooklyn shit that might have yeah. not should have been aired out right. on us. But she felt like Battle Kim. Battle rap shit. Yeah, but she felt like Kim yeah. did that with Mob D. So she just kept going in and in and in. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm telling you, this, he, the last verse that we picked <laughs> was the least amount of disrespect. <laughs> I mean, and people, this wars that happen. She changed it because of you saying that? No, she changed it because of our face. Yo, because we a, could, we didn't a have battle the, rapper, bro. Yeah. Listen, Son. we didn't have the heart to say, Fox, change the verse. She looked at our face and she was like, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, all right. Boom. And that third verse when she kicked it, it was like, damn. And the only thing and bro, I did. The third, the yeah. third verse is crazy. Yeah. No, I remember when he showed it to me when it before it ever came out of Hip Factory. He showed it to me. Damn, you, your memory is great. And I was, and you was, you was like, listen to this, and I was like, oh, this is crazy. But mind you, I, in battle rap, this is where T Rex was slamming his hat. So but mind you, but, 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 but help me, help me out, help me out, math, help me out, yeah. math. I want you to tell me, was I naive? Was I stupid? Or was I being fair? Naive, stupid, or being fair? That's your three choices. Cass, can you remember? Because you chose... Chill, chill. Naive, stupid, or being fair? I knew this verse, what it was. I chose to continue to let it go out. Did you pick the lightest verse? I picked the lightest verse, and I also called Puff Daddy, and I also called well, other she people. she picked the lightest verse, according no, to now, you. Now, no, for, the, for those who know. Oh, so she, you had three different versions. I had 99 oh, bars. Okay, so you, so you, you condensed it. Right. No, excuse me. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me describe it better, because it was three different versions of it. Like, she did one. Okay. Boom. And we got out. She we gave like, you, Yo, that she was gave you different verses. We was like, that was yeah. it. And then she did. She said, fuck that, I'm going to do another one. Boom. And then she had one that she was already wrote. And I believe... She, she gave believe, you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. And you decided what you wanted to pick. I like you. I like your style. Yeah. And... And she left it up to you. Damn, I feel like you throwing it back on me. I mean... <laughs> That's what's up. That she but, did. But just to show, <laughs> if, if the one that you released was the lightest one... It was the lightest. Le le lightest. Lightest. But I can't lie to you, that was a dramatic session. It was electric because, mind you, we did have beef with Mob Deep, not at that time. time. Right. At that time, me and Mob Deep is great. But but as the people who had beef with you before, you always want to one eye. Yeah. Just being honest. That's, and, a and, and that's, a, that's the crazy thing about it, because <laughs> I know y'all feel the same way, V. We feel the same I way as these niggas. Like, this is the reason why I know. I, yeah, so, our shit is over. I but did not. Let me just be clear. Crazy. Just be clear, clear. We really clearly squashed the beef for Marty. Right. But when Fossey came, I can't lie to you. And she said that. I was like, oh, nigga, damn. Yo, can I say something? And this is why, this, you, this is why can, people watch Battle we, Rap. We could potentially edit this. I mean, there's no reason no, to I edit don't, it. Don't. There's no reason to edit it. But right. when he showed me the verse, 
He, he, you said, E, this is crazy. And you looked at me, and you were like, and I was like, oh, shit. This is going to cost some shit. And, and you, you, still look, got and you were like, yeah. You still got every version? I still got I knew that we were witnessing history right there as well. Yeah, I just want to post one version on my YouTube. No, I, 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 I'll be honest. I'm, let me tell you something. I'm so cool with Kim and Foxy now. Right. Is that I can't ever let that happen, but I will never let my memory die. But you, you know what's crazy about what I you're saying? I will never let my memory This is why battle rap exists. Yeah. That's a fantasy for us. Yeah. Even the, in, even the rappers that we, we watch throughout the years, it's like, okay, you top five, dead or alive. It's a fantasy See, well, in our I, minds. Can, like, can I, can I give you what one, if you battle such and such? Can I give you one thing that might be a little different? Is in, in y'all league, I feel like every, like, this is, uh, um, I asked Mayweather, I asked uh, Adrian Broner, and I asked Danny Garcia. And I said, yo, do you never look at people like your friends? And they said, never. And to me, that's how I think like battle rappers look at it. I feel like battle rappers look at other artists and say, he's never my friend. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you. And, and for boxers, it's probably the same way. After you fight, y'all get closer. After this Aver is what, battle, this is what they I got said. closer. After, after this John is John, I got closer. Okay. After mad people that I battled, it was like the war's over. Right. And we became people like, if he was practicing for a battle, he would call me and be like, yo, what you think of this? Hard. You know what I mean? Hard. So for them, they couldn't because people didn't allow that. Yeah. But in battle rap, that's what it is. Yo, usually right after your last bar, on the last bar spit, right. it's like a weight. Lift it off. So it's really like it's like, really I, like boxing. Like how after, after yeah. boxing, after that bell ring, right? You guys really just, unless you got knocked out. Okay, that's very. If true. you got knocked out, yeah. it's always gonna hurt. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want, <laughs> it's always gonna. You don't hurt. get knocked out. Fact. And they have to shake, shake a hand after that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, jeez, man, your math. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I was so excited, man. I'm really still excited, huh? Quick time of slime, my man. All right, y'all ready? Quick time, but what's slime? I'm going to freestyle it. Are you ready? Gonna be a day. <laughs> what are we doing? Quick time or slime. It's one or the other. I'm going to give you one choice or the other. All right? Okay, got it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Nah, a what's hold. the timer? Hove. I'm from Brooklyn. Crazy? Nah, it's an AZ. AZ. Yeah, you went to be death for Okay. <laughs> Nikki or Cardi B? They gonna hate me. Cardi B. Lil Wayne or Drake? Drake. I love Lil Wayne, but that boy got a different type of ambition. Okay. Murder Mook, Loaded Love. Mook. I kill Mook, though. <laughs> Facts. Okay. Busta Rhymes or Missy Elliott? Busta, you crazy? Yo, Missy. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, yo. You lost mad weight. I, I seen how I look. I was like, whoa. I got homeboys that do that for like for a living. They're like, they they try to find that chick. They work out, they do all that, but they really trying to find that chick. Son, Missy, you out. You out. What a I'm just saying, she aight. She aight. Don't play. You see it. You see it, right? Yeah. You aight. Right. 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 More power to you. The fade or the baldy? I feel like the baldy wins. Yeah. Tattoos or plain? Depending on what kind of lifestyle you're into. Um, ass or titties? Ass. Okay, um, finger popping? <laughs> Thumb popping? What? Finger popping? Or ear ticking? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? It's the landslide, right? One, two, three. Finger popping! <laughs> Holy 
drinking more than guacamole. I freestyle this up. Yo, why you drinking water right now? Yes, and I, I ran out of beer. You got uh, lemon uh, water. All right, let's do one more. That's lemon back. water? Huh? It's lemon water? Yeah. I feel like I'm there's something that. else in there. Don't drink what <laughs> else is in there. And where? Are we going to what? um um Co- Coyo Taco? No, let's go to uh, Wood Tavern. I thought, all uh, right, Wood Tavern? You want to go to Coyo? I've been to you with Coyo Taco. In the little private room, it's a little crazy. I don't like it. Bro, don't, don't take us a me, bro. You ever been in a private room with no, Coyo Taco? No, I haven't. No, they got a little dive bar there. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little crazy. You don't want to... Is it dive bar? Like, is the, what, it's, it's dirty? Bar. It's sleazy? No, nah, they got weird nights. <laughs> weird nights? Different nights. What you, you mean? Like they got a techno whoa, night. Whoa, no, no, whoa. they got a reggae night, a techno night, a different nights. Okay, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, 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 it's I'm a, learning not to cross that line. No, I'm you got to be deal. careful. Oh, let me just say something about <laughs> Miami. Miami, you can go into any party you want. Right. But you got to be careful. <laughs> because you might not want to be in a party oh, you, yeah. you in. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful. Man. It's just like New York, though. So let's no, like New, York. New York, you can pretty much recognize from the Timberlands. You in Manhattan? You no, no, from, no, no. Timberlands, I can recognize from anywhere. Right. If I go to Manhattan, there's no Timberlands in there, I already know what's going on. When right. I see loafers, I already know. I already know. I pretty much know when people don't got no socks on and they're not Dominican. I'm like, oh, shit. If they're Dominican, I don't I don't be alarmed. <laughs> but if they got no socks on and they're not right. Latino, right. and I'm like, wait a, a minute. Lot of wide shoulders. Yeah. Yo, Alfred and Todd, I'm watching you, Alfred. Alfred give your speech, give your speech, give the speech. Alfred and Todd? Alfred and Todd is Who's Alfred and Todd? <laughs> this is his buddies he hangs out with. You gotta make it to where... Hey, give your speech, bro. Well, I did make it. Alfred and Todd is very... Watch the niggas. This you gotta watch the niggas, because I, I, I done pulled out guns on these niggas. You gotta relax. What? You gotta uh, relax. Salud. Salud, nigga. Uh, All right, let's take a picture. No, all right, all right, all right. Mm. Holy moly guacamole. Yo, I want to say shout out to Noriega. Yes. I committed so much crime to his music. Oh, man. Yo, but Math, I just want to big you up, Math, one more time, man. You're an honorable person. You're a real person. I watched you for years. I watched you take the stairs. A lot of people take the elevators. A lot of people take the escalators. (laughs) <laughs> Elevators, escalators It's hard work As long as you get up there It's hard work As long as you Just get... understand it My ex would I don't mean the right? cars, nigga I mean the escalade, you know it was, That's not escalate. That's not called escalate. No, escalator. escalator You said it right I said it right, right? You said Why it Why y'all laughing at me then? You say Everybody know the elevator is much faster I've seen you take the stairs Facts Facts Were they moving? No no. The eleva- ele- elevator went down because they didn't want to see me run. Oh, so it was the escalators. And the Crazy. escalators and the stairs. I seen them shits go the other way for you. And you know what? I see you stand tall. And for that, everybody here should admire it. Everybody in Dusseldorf, Germany should admire it. Salute. Everybody in um, Sydney, Australia should admire it. Salute. Right now, I'm just saying places I've Shanghai, been at. Just throw Shanghai. Shanghai. Where's that? Japan or China? China. Whatever that shit is. That's China. Shanghai. Everybody Shanghai. in um, Hanoi. Tokyo, Ch- Japan. I've been to Okinawa. You've been to Okinawa? Moscow. Japan. We've been to Crazy. Moscow. It's been to Moscow. That was a terrible place. And we've been to St. Petersburg. That was the most racist place we've ever been in our You've been to the most racist place. In, and, and they looked at you and said, you're not even white. <laughs> so you and he had a white beard on. It's very true. But they, they knew I was Cuban. That yeah, was they weird. said, you Cuban, B. This is the first time. I said, I can't pass? I they can't said, pass? I'm white. They I ain't said, gonna lie, you like mad Cuban generals, B. <laughs> yeah. You like mad you know, like, niggas. I seen them niggas in the like, documentaries. I'm like, you yeah, like, like Matt Cuban Matt general, B. <laughs> but, man, I cannot conclude this podcast. I cannot create this podcast. Right. Without saying how much I admire what you did from being you do? just a rapper to a battle rapper. Right. To a rapper that makes songs. And even one time you tried to offer me to write his my rhyme. I said, Math, you gotta relax. Nah, <laughs> I wasn't he was yeah, like, Yo, I you need help? I was like, Nah, just, it was just, it's, I, I just felt like. Math, I write rhymes for real. You gotta relax. I'm <laughs> in the studio with you. Bro. I'm in the studio with you. Yeah, it's my nigga. I love him. He tried to offer I said, Math. I don't know, man. You know, yeah, you know, but you know, I, I respected that. I respected right. that. But let me just say something from you being regular artist, battle artist, to 
rap lot to a person doing it on music and continue to do what you got to do. Creating an industry. And throughout this all, throughout this all, when everybody's like battle rap is, is gone, whatever, he created this show that I personally tune in as much as I can. Shout out to Misfit. Because I just like, I like, that's exactly what I need. Like, I need a 45 to an hour. Like, uh, what happened? That's what happened? All right, cool. Boom. If it's 115, I'll just, I'll press pause. And I know I'll go back. Whenever I go back, just. Shout out to now. Boom. And I do it. And I really, really appreciate how you cover battle rap, how you are a person from battle rap. And you are the new FUBU. You are for them. You are you are for them. <laughs> F them. For them and, and bit but, them. And by F F M B them. For them and by them. That's Fibili Blue Blue. Fibili And guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna support that clothing line. I'm gonna smoke that watch line. I'm gonna support when you put it on the hat. I'm gonna support whatever you do because you know why? Like what? If it's coming from you, I want a million percent respect it. I want a million percent honor it. And I want a million percent know that it's coming from a real genuine place. Sure. And I'm going to say that behind your back. I've been saying it behind your back. And it would make me a sucker not to tell it to you in front of your face. Salute. Hey.